birthday to Chris. Happy birthday to Christopher. It's his birthday, yes. Today it was. He turned 38 for the 11th time. <laughs> Thank you. You're good at math, senor. Happy birthday, sir. Gracias. And just a shout out from Tatiana, oh. who's listening from, uh, I believe oh, it's... Canada. In my, other words, our too. Home and native land. It's my favorite uh, national anthem. I it is. Yeah. I do love the maple leaf. Yes. I do. I also. Yes. I do. I, uh, it's my favorite national anthem. Did I ever tell you about my, my story about trying to sing... Uh, to audition for the Suns National Anthem singing? You did. Would you like to regurgitate that story? I choked, bro. No. Choked. This is what I sound like. Oh, say, can you see? I was so nervous. It was just tight. And then I did Canada, the O Canada one. It wasn't any good. It was the worst thing. I, I, I've i never sung that. So they me. gave it you the job, right? Yeah, they're like, well, you're with the Suns and they suck. So, yeah, come on aboard. There's only three people in the stands. Well, Pre, and we pre COVID, and we need someone to look worse than the Suns, right? So, so we need you're to start higher. Yes, yeah, like any game that they I'm play so, after that national anthem is like a step up, right? So, what would check mark say? This is the worst idea ever. What time you want me there? Yes, uh, you you want me sing national anthem? That is the worst idea ever. What time you want me there? Seven thirty. I'll be there on the dot. On the dot. <laughs> I will be. I will be drunk, but I will be there. Yes. Welcome to Beer Googles, everyone. Welcome to Beer Googles, everybody. Double E. Double O. Double G. Salud. Les. Les. I don't know. There's an LES on the end. Uh, Isn't that good? What is that, man? It's Modelo, dude. What's your birthday drink? Uh, yes, Jays. Modelo neg- neg- Negra Modelo? Si. Or is it a regular Modelo? Uh, especial. Is it Schwarzenegger Modelo? No, it's not Black Black Modelo. Black, 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 black Modelo? No. Schwarzenegger's Negra Modelo yes. would be Black, Black, Black Modelo. Yeah, that's super dark. Super dark. Like, it's like it, it's syrup. It's basically Guinness. <laughs> it's mud. Yeah. yeah. Dirt and water mixed together. So uh, today, we're, we're having a fun beer of Googles. So happy birthday, sir. Thank you again. 11th anniversary. Actually, it's the 20th anniversary of your 29th birthday. That is not, correct. Also, I'm, not, I'm an I'm old not. dude. That's awesome, man. But I have the maturity level of a seven-year-old, so. Pull my finger. So exactly. one thing I did learn from my crazy father is just be young at heart. The dude lived to very old and he was still picking up food for the homeless a month before he passed away. Still driving his stupid little car. Ew. So he was a rock star. So that's what I picked up from him is be young at heart and live every day and have fun and be goofy. And that's where, <laughs> that's where I got it from. So don't be normal. Why so? Serious. Exactly. Just my father was the Joker. That is correct. Do you almost? I almost called it serious. Uh, Why so serious? Podcast. That's pretty catchy. But spelled with the star name because of the whole star seed thing that we talked about. Whoa. That one day we'll probably interview on that. That one time. That one time. But uh, why so serious? I agree, man. Like we talked about it with Taj. We're sitting. In, I will sit down in a freaking sandbox and make sand. Co- Why not? Yeah. What do you have to lose? If you, playing in the sand's fun. Yeah. I have coloring fun. books in my house, then I do color. With and you share words. those. Should we share those maybe on Insta? Yeah. Do you, do you, does Ro, can Roxy and a, underscore Anders can run it? <laughs> Roxy underscore and underscore Anders show you all the coloring they've done? Yes. Beautiful. I like to there, see unicorn vaginas. And, there uh, are some cuss words. Unihorse. Yes. Unihorny lounge was the last one. Oh, that's what it was. Yes. That was and a nice poll. The though. unicorn was doing a stripper dance and there was a G string flying and <laughs> it was fantastic. Was it hanging off the horn? No. That's it was, what it, the she bra was needs wearing, to be She was wearing a bikini, uh, but there was also another G string that was flying. So I didn't know where it came from. It was very, very strange maybe picture. Maybe the patron. Maybe the patron was maybe, like, I'm taking mine off. I, you know, to each unicorn, I don't know. To each unicorn, their horn. His or her own horn. <laughs> I don't. I don't know these things, but yes, I have some cussing coloring books. I love it. The adult coloring books. You know what? This is what I'm thinking. So yes, we we had a concept last night. We have a blind dog downstairs. We do. I, I her don't. name is Ava. You do. So we were going to start an Instagram account of what she stands and stares in front of all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so like, okay, so it would be hashtag what. <sighs> hashtag Ava sees. No, like, no, what, what was she staring at? That's well, no, that's what I'm saying. It's gonna be hashtag Ava sees. What? And, well, that's the point, though. Everyone's gonna be a different picture because she'll stand and she'll stand in front of like a table leg for an hour. So hashtag table leg. 
Well, it would be hashtag Ava sees. It would be a picture of the table, like from her point of view. We're going to put the camera next to her head and then take an overhead of what she's actually looking at. I love it. So we're going to do that. Is it hashtag bark, 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 You're You're a stranger and I don't know you. You said I'm blind. So ar, 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 ar. I love this dude. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a hashtag Ava C. I really want to be her friend, man, but she don't I like know. me. And I'm think, a dog person. I think if you picked her up and held her, honestly, she wouldn't bite. She's never bitten anyone. She just barks. He literally has no bite. <laughs> I mean, she might have a bite when she eats, but not at us. Not for humans. The other one's a vampire. Which is not a superpower, I found out. Yeah, let's week. not talk about vampirism. Vampirism. Yes. And w- wolfmanism? Ne- negative ghostwriter. <laughs> so, yeah. So, we're going to do a hashtag Ava C's. And how about Roxy underscore and underscore Anders Why color? Why did you change their Instagram because it's too hard to say? How about Rox Sanders? Rox Sanders. Sure. You don't have to put on a red line. Just R-O-X Anders? Yeah. Or Roxy Anders. Rox Sanders. I think Rox Sanders would be great. Okay. Doesn't that sound? Uh, let me talk to the dogs. Okay. Okay, hang on. Okay, they're in. They're in. Okay, the dogs are in. They're or good. Is Ricky Schroeder's thumb in? Hold no. on. Hold on. Let, okay. We need, okay, Stim, let's talk to Ricky Schroeder's thumb. Uh, we bring you live to Ricky Schroeder's thumb. Ricky Schroeder's thumb, what do you have to say about this? <laughs> that, that one's more like it. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> the laughter was... Disregard the laughter, everyone. The crickets was what. Thank you, Ricky Schroeder's thumb for your input. So is he? He's down. With he's the, he's with thumbs the, up, bro. He's thumbs up. <laughs> he's, he gave it a thumbs up. He's just thumb. Literally, really high. He's to thumb. Benjamin Bratt at the he's top thumb. of the okay. at the top of the uh, tube. Yeah, yeah. This is gonna. I don't wonder if that's gonna get old, or if that's gonna be. Some I love it. Kind of like kind of like bro. It is like bro. And we've kind of backed away, but we still say it every once in a while. We still go back to checkmark and Deutschmark regu- regularly. I we love regularly those schedule segments. I feel like we're going to start having some segments, man. But Rock Sanders. Rock but I think it should be two ends in like Rock Sanders. Like Rock Sanders. Yeah. But, well, you know, I, then his name would change that. That would be wrong. Yeah. R O X A N D E R S. Yeah. Uh, Twitter World, what do you think? I will make that happen momentarily. Excellent. All right. When so, I turn my phone back off of airplane mode after this recording. Well, this recording is very important. That's why we have, we Muy literally do not have a computer. In importante. The, this is we are focused. We are honed Boom. in on this one. First of all, it's your birthday. Set, well, it's day, day after. Yesterday was my birthday. Birthday dun, plus dun, one. Dun, 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 it's not your birthday too. Dun, 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 dun. Till Isn't next week. Anthony Michael Hall, sixteen Mother candles. Trucker. Say it's birthday. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> can I? Can I? Can I have your underwear? Do you know what I liked about this? My clean clothes shave. Yes. Mm, mm. All right. So today's topic of yes. the beer Google's nature. Yes. What, what are we talking about? Brought today, to you. From the home office in Phoenix, Arizona. Senior executive By producer? senior executive. I changed her title last night. Oh, shit, I should have wrote it down. Senior, is she vice president of operations now? <laughs> yeah. She, senior <laughs> quadrant southwest analyst, operational specialist, <laughs> vice president, analytical specialist. Of the region. Of executive know. operations. I don't know, bro. Well, when you get that new title, please, so we can, uh, we, can we need to put her in the She asked for notes. a raise, and I said, you get all the free podcast downloads you want. All the free podcast downloads, any title increase as we see fit for or free. she see fits. Yeah. Look, we're not buying her new business cards every time. <laughs> okay. This is not going to happen. Free Doritos. Literally, we got her the executive producer ones. She just had to put an SR period in front of them. That's all. Yeah, that's, her, that's how a Sharpie. I'll get you a pencil. I'll get you a Sharpie you, or a pen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. So from the home office, this is her her podcast suggestion of the week is, would you prefer to be on a sports championship team, such as a Super Bowl or World Series, et cetera, or would you prefer to be an individual sports champion, like a tennis champion or an Olympic gold medalist diver along those lines? And why would you prefer to be which one? And also which ones. Yes. Because that's important. Yes. Because we talked about earlier, like the United States interests are not necessarily the global interests. Correct. Like one thing that we're way behind on is soccer. Yes. For example. And one thing we're ahead on, basketball? I don't know. Well, baseball. And, I mean, bit. American football. American football. Baseball. Sure. Yeah. So, yeah, the world and the U.S. are very different. In many cases, Absolutely. Yeah. So, all right. 
oh, I love the to- I love the topic. And the second you brought it to me, I'm like, I a bunch of different teams or a bunch of different sports came to mind. And so, how do we want to tackle this? So, I took a survey again from some peoples. All right. So, do we want to break it down to who who like team more than individual, or how do you, how do you want to do it that way, or just the people and what what they chose? Um, I don't think I wrote one down. I, I apologize because there was That's one okay. that was really funny. Uh, was it to... uh, curling? No, it was actually badminton. It really cracked me up. Because he likes hitting the shuttlecock. <laughs> <laughs> he actually didn't say that, but I did think of that. He likes giving the bird and then hitting the bird. Anyway, so so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about some sports teams and or individual. Uh, uh, Roberto said uh, he liked to win the gold medal in badminton. <laughs> is there i'm like there is a, there is badminton yeah. in the olympics yeah and the chinese are the asian market corners that them and ping pong ping pong and badminton like korea asia and china yeah, china are, right but is badminton it. is it always doubles or is there singles no, too there's singles and doubles because they they the that shuttlecock moves like at the speed of light it is hit at, before it gets the coefficient of drag and its air resistance, it I think it's like over 180 miles an hour at like striking. It's some fucking ridiculous number. That's not a joke. Like it just catches the air so much that it doesn't stay that way. He wants to be on the doubles badminton. Ooh, yeah, gold. He wants a doubles cock. Is he want mixed doubles so she can hit his shuttle cock? He didn't say if he wants to be on the co-ed team or not. <laughs> he, he said uh, he just said team. Squishy Gold face. Metal bad. <laughs> no, I've seen it. Um, it is probably one of the most exciting game uh events to watch in the Olympics. Uh going back one podcast, he did say an underrated superpower, knowing when to acknowledge your buddy's birthday. Because he nice. forgot my birthday two years ago. <laughs> oh bro. but he made up for it in a in a big way. He got me these custom vans tennis shoes. And I will admit that I did not wish you a happy birthday, although I'd known your birthday. And then when Megan's when Megzy said, uh Megzy's like, Ooh, how was this cake? I'm like, shit. So then I text you happy yeah, birthday and then was said ridiculous, How's that cheesecake. Bro. Holy T- Hold on. Holy Well that that was a cut in, but we need story time no, for your no. cheesecake story time. So tell us about your birthday cheesecake. Yes. How this came about, how many years it's been now, and who does it for you? We want to uh, acknowledge that's all these a lot things. of questions, bro. Bro, that's it's an interview question. It's an interview podcast. Man. Okay. Uh three years. <laughs> Say it. Say it. Three years. Three years. For three years I had this uncomfortable cheesecake <laughs> in my ass. <laughs> uh Steve and Felicia. Uh, get me I that cheesecake. Um, usually they get it overnighted from New York. So my dad was big, a big cheesecake. He loved it. And then I, you know, I got hooked on it cause I had it all the time. So yeah. cheesecake's my favorite dessert. One of my favorite things. It's so good. So they tried something different though. And it was actually a cheesecake made in Mississippi. I saw the box. So it says Mississippi made New York approved. Right. I saw that. And I, I wasn't sure so if it I was can, Mississippi people that moved to New York. No, it's made. It's a, it's a Mississippi based cheesecake, New York style cheesecake company. Do you know the name? I, off the top of your head? Uh, if you don't know, yeah, we do. don't have to take our time to waste it. I just want to give them yeah. a shout out because it was so good. Yeah. So Stephen Felicia. Yeah. Rock stars like, right there, man. Well, they're your adoptive parents, right? Well, so we know yeah, that. pretty much. Even though they're younger than me. <laughs> right. But you're only seven. I am You're emotionally only seven. That is correct. And, I'm only this many. And you have to pull your finger. <laughs> so, Steve, uh, Felicia, thank you so much for Christopher's uh, uh, cheesecake. Cotton cheesecake blues. Cotton cheesecake blues, everybody. Super, Mississippi. It, 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 it could have been, and it had a cinnamon crust. So not, I mean, cinnamon was mixed in with the graham with cracker the graham, type yeah. crust, right? It could have been the, one of the best cheesecakes I've ever had. It was ridiculously good. But they good. did still ship it special. Yes. Like dry ice yeah, and all yeah, that correct, stuff. Like, correct, okay. correct, yeah. It looked like you guys devoured the heck out of that thing. Uh, I had already started cutting up and, and putting in slices and putting in the freezer because yeah. I can't, we couldn't eat. You know, I thought you just took the handful and just like no, that we, right out of the uh, that was a spatula, sir. That's beautiful. <laughs> so, Cotton Fitzsimmons cheesecake. <laughs> this is very sun Going specific back to the today. Suns today, sir. Yeah, weird. So Cot- that's the cheesecake. Cotton uh, picking. Cotton picking. What, what was oh, it called? Dear Lord, sorry, dude, bro. Kill okay, me, man. you pull it up again. I'm sorry. I just want to give him credit. Mississippi made New York approved. If you're in Mississippi, 
Well, cotton and, cheesecake blues. Cotton cheesecake blues. That sounds so and cool. I can, I'll post these if you want. We'll put a website on our notes. Yeah. All right. Well, sir, once again, officially birthday plus one. Thank you so much. I love much you, Much appreciated. Love you, too. And now we're going to talk about sports and get really mad yeah. at each other for no reason. Right, like always. So, um, other than a superpower of remembering people's birthdays. Yeah, Roberto said uh, doubles gold medal in badminton. It would have been said, funny if he said, yeah, I'll take the bronze. <laughs> like, I, think, I think fourth place. Actually, what about the silver? How stupid would that? I think that's the worst of the one. Because, like, third place? At least you medaled. I got in. Right. right. Second place is like, you lost, bro. Like, you yeah, you were this close to first yeah. place. You were that close. So close. It's the worst. It's the worst, man. But you, if you medal in badminton, that sounds pretty impressive. Right? I mean, in China, it'd be huge. Huge. Just like Forrest was in ping pong. Yeah. Ping pong. But mama, I like my own paddle. Ma, I like my paddle. He said I get paid to, to say I like to play with this paddle, but I don't like this paddle. You have to work on that. It's not God. bad, but it needs some work. We got us to our jetties. <laughs> I did not supposed to be looking for. Are you, you done? Uh, no. Are C O R? Are you going to the store later? I was going to ask you that. Are you going to the mall? Couch, couch. Remember when Billy Madison had to spell couch, and he spelled it with an R? No. Oh. Google it. Beer Google. No. Even. Uh, no, thank okay. you. All right. Well. 17, 18 minutes have passed. <laughs> so, Talking about cheesecake. Ladies and gentlemen, that is 18 minutes you're never getting back. Yeah, but it's been fun. But it's been our it's Okay, been have great a great day. Us. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so moving so on after badminton. Doubles badminton. I'm assuming men's, not mixed. Uh, is there mixed? I don't know. That's what I'm wondering. Is there if, mixed in tennis? There is. Like there is Wimbledon, mixed in tennis. What about Olympic tennis? I don't know if there's mixed. I'm, we're going to have to go. I'll, I'll do some research. Good thing we looked this up before. I no. Okay. Not even going to. I say, you know, all the times we've said we need to go back to that and we never do. Not one time. Egg every time. Because all we do, we are, we are eating the candy and leaving the wrapper behind us. We're not cleaning up, bro. That's not good. It's not. We're horrible for the environment. Figuratively. Figuratively. Not yeah, literally. I do pick up after myself. Correct. The I'm, figurative environment. Unfortunately, I'm psycho about that crap. I flick my cigarette butts at Begsy. I don't throw them, throw them out the car. You. <laughs> good thing you don't smoke. I know, isn't it? I thought you're giving everyone the wrong impression, bro. Yeah, I know, bro. Speaking of which, so um, anything else on the shuttlecock? Well, it's hit very fast. I know that, and it's the coolest fucking name. What at what range does it begin to slow down right away? Where it won't cause harm? Probably um, like three feet. So if you're two feet away, it could hurt. (laughs) Well, I. This is something we will need to look up. The initial velocity. What is the initial wind velocity of an African sparrow? <laughs> We're doing uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail? Yes. The average wind velocity. No, we need to know the average wind velocity of a shuttlecock at striking. At impact. And then at one foot, two, two feet, feet. Because you see how much air resistance. It slows resistance. down very the quickly. The initial thing is so intense. Yes. That initial shot. So, I don't know, man. What Did he have another sport? Besides? No. I look, imagine being, but why doubles, bro? Because you get to call yourself a team sport. Yeah, maybe he wants to do it with his brother. I don't know, dude. That's true. Maybe he wants to do it with you. Yes, on your birthday that he forgot Totes. two years ago. Yes, we want to go back in time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's so stupid. It's funny though. Every it time. is funny. Back in time. Back. What are we gonna do, Doc? Marty, we gotta go back to the future. That's pretty good. It's not a bad Christopher That's, Lloyd. It's good. I got a decent Christopher Lloyd. Yeah. I can't do the Christopher Lloyd from Roger Rabbit. Though. You got Christopher walking down, too. I miss him. I, I can only do three hits. Yeah, but that's perfect. Cowbell. It, it's off. I already lost it. But those, if you stop speaking right there, it's perfect. Three. Yes. <laughs> Watch this. I, I can sound just like him. Hey. Done. Done. It's lovely. That's my Christopher walking right there. I My favorite impressions are the one where like, Hello, I'm Christopher Walken. Can't you tell it's me? You're like, dude, you just told me who you were. It's not really an impression. It's just you talking like You're yourself. You're speaking. Yeah, thank you. But you knew who I was, didn't you? Yeah, because you announced yourself. Yeah, but you knew who I was, Yeah, but it's you? a bad impression. Exactly. Dipshit. These bastards. 
So after shuttlecocking, yeah. what do we what do we have? What uh, do we have uh, moving along to our lovely senior executive producer. Oh, Mary, the senior executive producer, is getting second take on this. I yes. Like I uh she s- said she wants the gold medal in Olympic softball. The ladies. Great team sport. The ladies softball. Did she mention what position she wanted to play or did she ever play growing up? Uh she did not mention the position, but yes, she did. Yeah. What did she play? Do you know? I do not know. She looks like a third baseman. Okay. No, no. She looks like a second baseman. Okay. Not a huge power hitter. She's not that. She's not a big person. No. So she's not, you know how they have like third base and catchers are usually bulky, beefy people. You mean like a wall? Yeah. She's so they can that. hit it fall. Far, far away. Like three years fall. <laughs> that ball was in the air for three years. See, that's really good. That's not bad. That was better. I like it. I like softball. Now it's funny. They all went to Olympics. So everyone's kind of getting a little bit of an international flair. Everyone because, has been two, dude. Yeah, every one of the two. Both. What part of <laughs> both of them? Both of them. That's a team sport in itself. Both of them. Yeah. Okay. So we got softball from a senior executive producer. Bro, that was like 13 podcasts ago. <laughs> Can we not? And bro was like 12 podcasts ago. Um, so I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm sorry. I'm going back in time. Back in time. We're reverting everybody, ladies and gentlemen. Um. So, Mary, thank you, first of all, for the topic. Yes. Roberto, thank you for the awesome shuttlecock advice. <laughs> and softball, I love it. Yeah. So who, who else has, how about hardballs? Does anybody like hardballs? Or are they all softballs? Hardballs is coming up next, big man. Nice. We got uh, my golf buddy, Adrian, coming in hot. Wojnowski? Yes. From ESPN? Yeah. Nice. With the World Series. He is sadly a Cleveland Indians fan. So be of the Indians? Of the Indians. Of Cleveland. I was a big Native American person before I knew that I like Native American teams. Okay. Um, Go tribe. Well, growing up, I always felt like you should have two teams that you like. One from each conference. I thought that, that'd be smart. So, like, I have someone from the NFL, AFC, and the NFC. So, like, Mets, Yankees? Yes, exactly. So, I have someone from the NL and the AL. Um, I went very Native American, though. Um, I was a Washington fan. I'm not going to say the team name because we... Well, they don't They don't have that name anymore. Right. It's the Washington team. It, they're just they the football club, right? Right. Washington team, whatever. They are mired in so much controversy right now. Like... It, Lots of poop. Do you want to hear how bad it is? I would love to. Or do to. you know how bad it is? I, I, real, I know I know a okay. very tiny so, bit about it. So they offended Native Americans, obviously, with the, with the name. So yeah. they're pulling that off. They've got a sex scandal all the way to the top uh, where women what? are harassed left and right. What? And the head coach just was diagnosed with cancer. Okay, go, okay. Who's the head coach? Uh, Ron Rivera, the old guy from Carolina. He used to be a football. Oh yeah, that, a, he looks like a linebacker. Yeah. He, oh, he is. He was. Well, yeah, I think he, was a line he still does. Yeah, he, he still he could, looks like he could play. He could play. Yeah. He could totally play. So, sex scandal, harassment up and down the executive team of the Washington team. No joke. So the 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 coach has cancer. They've got a sex scandal, and they don't even have a name yet. Like, they pissed off pretty much, ev- like, they're just... All the gods. Yeah. I think every god of them, all the gods, yeah. Gods damn it. Literally. <laughs> gods damn it. So are they, like, are there multiple lawsuits pending? Yeah. It's, it just started. I mean, it's going to not go well for them. Wow. Yeah. And the owner is the... Daniel Snyder? Is the uh, owner of Six Flags, all the Six Flags. So oh. Magic Mountain... Great Adventure, Texas, all those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that he, who knows how bad this could go. And I'm not, I'm not calling out on what they did because I don't know. So please, I don't want to get slapped with a hearsay bullshit lawsuit because I'm not saying anything they did. I'm speaking in very general terms, everyone. Okay. But he, imagine him losing like that. Like well, he lose the team. He lose. He'd have to sell off like that one guy sold off. I don't, I'm just saying. Who knows how bad this could get? Well, besides the fact with COVID. All the six flags are probably they probably lost a lot of money. Oh yeah, they're definitely not running. Well, so they are, but they're oh, are they? Yeah, a friend of mine, Magic Mountains going. A friend of mine went to one back east. Okay, six flags, probably the one in Jersey. Six sure, Flags Great Adventure. It's yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so just a, a couple weeks ago, Megzi and I went that in the rain. No one was there. We had we had the we had the run of the lot. It was great. That sounds cool. Fun. Yeah. That sounds like the Washington team is in trouble. Yeah, there are a lot of trouble. But then, then it's like like it can't get worse. And then like the coolest guy, Ron Rivera seems like such a cool dude. Why did he leave Carolina? I think they, they part away. He got fired. And then he got hired right away by Washington? Yeah, same. He got hired this year. Uh, 
for this year. What is so? Is he still coaching, or yeah, is he, he doing, coached last? Is yesterday. he doing like chemo and stuff? He coached Sunday and they won. I think he came. He had chemo and radiation. He came and like it was awesome. How they first of all they shouldn't win games because they're not even organized to win football games. They were playing a, a team that has some pa- firepower in the Eagles and they beat them. Who um who's their quarterback? Is it Kirk Cousins? Still? No, it's that Haskins kid, the new Ohio, the old Ohio, the Ohio State college. Team really? Kid okay. From two three years ago. Yeah, I know him. Yeah, they yeah. drafted him and last year and they played him very limited last year, but they I think he started yesterday. Okay, they won like twenty seven seventeen. I mean that's, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. So considering with all that turmoil, now it does allow people to rally, but usually when it's like that many, also it's kind of like, fuck that. Yeah. Usually it's just, it's like, how many more can we hold on to, right? Right. Yeah. So we'll see what happens next week. Who knows? They could have that huge collapse. Like they put all their energy into yeah, this week. And, and a huge just, letdown when they lose seven in a row. Yeah. It could happen. I mean, right. I feel bad for the players because they didn't sign up for this. Like they didn't sign up for what the organization did. Right irresponsibly they didn't sign you know it's not you know obviously they probably like i want to be part of the washington organization because washington has a history i don't want to obviously i don't think anyone ever said i want to be a you know what the team used to be called but um you know definitely want to be part of washington's history yeah so i get that yeah and you want to be on a winning team yeah, you want to be. Yeah, you want to yeah, be Joe on something. Theismann. I mean, they had four. Yes. They won four in the eighties. Right, it was yeah, just amazing. Yeah. That's what you want to be part of. Yeah, you want to be part of that history and lore of, of the Washington D.C. football team. Yeah. yeah, and you don't need a name. It's it, the name thing. Totally cool. Totally cool. I'm totally cool with it. I don't care. Like, let me clarify. I'm totally cool with them changing the name. Yeah. Let of me course. not say I'm totally cool with the original name. Yeah. I understand the history of the original name, and it that's wrong. So right. I, however, we want to go with it. What do you call them, though? I mean, I was upset that they changed the name from the Washington Bullets to the Washington Wizards. Because, do you remember that? I do. How about the Baphomets? Bath- Baphomets? Yes. Oh, the Washington they, Evil Wizards. They're always horny. <laughs> <laughs> that would be my slogan. Show me your horny. The Washington Baphomets were always horny. <laughs> That's going to go over well. <laughs> Especially like with, the, with the new lawsuits that are up uh, Oh, shoot. Yeah, yeah don't. Okay, so I withdraw my idea. Let me show you my sword. <coughs> I wish we had video right now because I'd be showing Bath and Bath. You could post that on your dog's oh, new picture. Instagram. Yeah. Ava Because she will stare at that. Hashtag Ava sees everybody. Oh, my God. That, isn't that, that's an awesome fucking concept. I can't wait to do it. I need to start. I need to get Megzi on it today because the dog just stands in front of objects for hours. And you think she's st- she's blind, so she's just standing there. She doesn't even know that's there. She's the, but it looks like she's staring at. It. It's, it's the sixth beautiful. sense, dude. It's the seventh sense. It's the, s- <laughs> the six point six it's, sense. It's the seventh sign of the seventh sign. Yes. Seven deadly sin. What's in the box? What <laughs> just tell me? What's in the box. Gwyneth Paltrow's head. <laughs> <laughs> what? S- Spoiler, Spoiler alert. alert. Jinx, you owe me a coke Shit. this time. Boom. I hate you so much. All right, so we've got, what, two whole sports? Yes, we have two, two whole sports. We've got couples badminton. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he wants to move his wife. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, uh, is it called couples? Yeah, and badminton. Let's just call it couples because it sounds funny. <laughs> it sounds so cute. Like, yeah. Do they hold uh, hands when they yeah. hit their cocks? Yes. Whoa. Do they have cock in hand? <laughs> yeah, probably. And then, uh, and then softball from Mary. And we had a Super... And we had a, and we had a World we Series. Had the, we had the Cleveland... Cleveland Indians. Yes. Oh, go, go try. Back to my. That's the whole tangent. Yeah. My teams were the Washington Football Team and the Kansas City Chiefs. Of course. Atlanta Braves, the Cleveland Indians, Jeez. Chicago Blackhawks, and the Flyers. Because if I, that's the only you live real home. In, yeah, team. Philly. Yeah, yeah Philly. I, it's the one thing. Look, the the Flyers won the Stanley Cup, straddling the years that I was born. They won in seventy three, seventy four, and seventy four, seventy five. I was born in 74. I have to be married to that team. That team is mine, bro. Do they know that? They don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> or they would have won one on my birthday this year. Bastards. I don't these bastards. I might, that, that might, the Stanley Cup Championship might be on my birthday this year. Awesome. That'd be cool. When's your birthday? 28th, 32nd? Oh, yeah. You know, whatever it takes, 32, 33. We, yeah, I always forget which day it is. It's, well, I would, you, we've talked about why I would forget yours. Because yeah. I always forget if it's two weeks before mine or two weeks into the month. Good thing we have a shared birthday now. 
Yeah, we have the 22nd. Is our shared birthday. And Megzi is the 27th. Her best friend is the 13th. And we are all going together on a fabulous dinner at Ocean 44 on September 26th. Where we will spend an ungodly amount of money for an amazing experience. Amount of shrimp and cheesecake. Look, $9 shrimp, bro. Is it nine or eight? You said it was 18 for two. So I remember it, it used to be 16 for two at the old place. And now it's nine bucks a shrimp. Uh, either dollar way, shrimp. I'm going to get them. So inflation, I don't care. Inflation's a bit. Inflation bro. is terrible. So we're going to go for $9 shrimp. Definitely to start. We're not getting crab cakes now. We go, we're told not to. That's unfortunate. I'm very disappointed because that was going to be my main course. What if it, aren't you glad though that someone, yes, I'm, yes. hopefully that server will be there. They can tell you maybe more, maybe they improved it or maybe it's just somebody's opinion. Right? Well, somebody that works there says cr- it's the guy's crab cakes, wife or a guy's girlfriend. Yeah. The server's girlfriend that had it herself that didn't like it. So it could be that. I just have a hard time believing anything on the menu is bad. Right. It's kind of like sex. Yeah, or cold pizza. It's still awesome. Yeah, pizza of any temperature. Yeah, right? Even the one that burns the roof of your mouth, like when... <gasps> I mean, unless it's got fucking fungus on it. Yeah, well... Well, yeah. Why? Fungus among How us. Would it, okay, any non-fungi pizza? Correct. Oh, you mean like mushrooms? I mean exactly mushrooms. Or do you mean like... No. It's been sitting out no. for a week and it's, green, and it's green. No, that's gross. Mushrooms is my reference. Fungus. Fungus among us. It's funny. You're such a fun guy and you hate fungi. I do hate fungi. It's crazy. <laughs> do we want to move along? Yeah. L- ladies no. and gentlemen, thank you for wasting your time with us on a <laughs> Tuesday afternoon. Is it Tuesday? Tuesday? I don't know. Well, this is the thing. We were thinking about going to two for one today. We we're going to record two. Well, no, we're but not. We, we, we had initially talked about it. Maybe we, we can do two short ones. We don't do that. Bro. Do we don't do anything short. Bro, it's you and I. We're Bro. not doing anything short. We go long always. <laughs> what are we talking about? That, ladies? Chris goes long always. I don't even know what we're talking about. Do you anyway. show and grow? Are you a grower? A grower? Are we talking about sports? No. We're talking about your penis length. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were talking about badminton. And, oh, we're talking about shuttlecocks. So sorry. Double jinx. Whoa. So we got a World Series from your friend? Yeah. What, what was it? Who, who is this? Adrian. 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 So Ow. my brother. Yeah. Had one son. Has one son. And they were going to, they wanted to name him Adrian. Wait for it. Oh, dear. Bro, I live in Philadelphia. I was just thinking that. Who the fuck would name their male child in Philadelphia, the wife of Rocky. Who the fuck would do that? Your brother. Yeah. Well, yeah. Did did so I'm not going to go deeper. No. No. I'm just going to let that go. I just that's the that's as bad as I can get. I'll tell you the other one offline. Okay. It's worse. Okay. Maybe because it actually came to fruition. 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 Do you want to mute our mics and tell me? No. Okay. Let's move along. Yeah. So Adrian. Adrian. Adrian uh, is with the Cleveland Indians. Surprising he didn't take boxing because he would have loved to have been Rocky's wife. Yeah. And then been like, Adrian. And I was yeah. curious because he has a Raiders tattoo and he has an Indians tattoo. So I didn't, I was surprised he picked the Indians over the Raiders. Yeah. You'd think football. Yeah. So yeah. Did you follow up? Follow that no, up? No, I or? just, I said, okay. I took his choice and I wrote down. Sweet. I like that. But we, we need to be more investigative, sir. I, I am not a good PI. Well, Pie. you and now that you and I have been kind of almost pigeonholed in an investigative journalistic standpoint with this podcast. <laughs> this, that's Mary's job, bro. Oh, that's right. Senior executive vice producer. Get on that. Vice Mary. presidential, presidential producer. candidate. <laughs> Mary. <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, all your friends are so cool. I know. Like none of my. I harass them twice a week with dumb surveys. I asked Megzi and she's like, I don't really want to. She's like, talk shut about up. This. <laughs> she's like, I'm leaving this room. <laughs> and I'm taking my blind dog with me. It was funny. It was the same thing. I think it's how you and I talk. I go, Megzi, Christopher and I are talking about teams and that we like. And she said, I'm leaving you. <laughs> Shut and, up. She did not. And then I went, is that a team or what is that? <laughs> and he says, I don't even like you. That's what I said. That's what you said when I said, would you like to switch chairs? Yeah. 
I don't even no, like Megs, it. Megsy and I are very much in love, so we're good. Yay. Okay. So, Adrian, n- we, we'll, we'll have to follow up at some point with Adrian uh, about the Vegas thing. Yeah. Can we do a... Can you ask him I and then can, next time I we'll would talk love to. when we record again? Yeah. I like it. So, Adrian's uh, brother-in-law, Patrick. From where is Adrian? Because Cleveland and, and Oakland and L.A. Phoenix. Okay. But he so went to sense. school in Indiana or Illinois over there. So I get it. The, the thing is, Arizona did not have a football team until 88. So if you were born and raised here, chances are you didn't have a foot. You had did, whoever they showed on TV. A lot you of know times what I think Denver, it was Dallas. He, he told me that when he was a kid, he you're right. There was no teams here, right? So he wrote letters to all the football teams. Not all, like 10 teams. I think there were 10 at the time. Sure. So uh, <laughs> I would say probably around 1980 or so. He's, he's your age or older? He's f- he's younger. So he's 44-ish, whatever. So he wouldn't have done it in 80. He would have been like five. Right. He was very young. He's like <laughs> five or six. Excuse you. So he wrote letters to the football team saying, hi, like, like a kid would do. Hi, I like your team. Send me a pennant. Like or something. Yeah, send, 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 send me a sign. Send me a pencil. Whatever. Right. Team. Team picture. Ra- the Raiders were the only team to send to respond to him, and they sent him like three or four little items, and then ever since then he's been a Raider fan for like his entire life. Thirty five years. If I were five and I wrote every team, and one team wrote me back, ta da! For life, my exactly. Friend. How do you not? It's giving me chills talking about it. How do you not? I got a better. I'm going to one up that in a second. Okay, but, story time me, bro. No, I'm not going to story time you, but I'm, I'm going to one up you. However, I want to finish this thought because no, it's very important. That's that's it. It's just how you're cool a child. is that? Yeah, yeah. You're looking up. The world is like you literally look up to the entire world because well, you're yeah. little. You don't know anything yet, and you're like, oh man, I love football. Hey, football team. Hey, football team two. Hey, football team three. And the fourth one writes you back, man. Oh my god, I right? I feel like I'm the only kid in the entire world at that moment. Imagine yeah. opening the letter. Like, yeah. does he still have a letter? I don't know. And they was they were Oakland at the I would time, frame right? That shit, probably Oakland. Yeah, well, Oakland, they were Oakland, LA, then, LA back, right, yeah, back right. to Oakland. Yeah. So I think it was Oakland at the time. Yeah. Oh my god, that would have been. Awesome. And they went and they went to the Super Bowl in nineteen eighty. They won in eighty. Eighty three and eighty three because they I beat didn't the know Eagles 80. in eighty. Yeah, they beat the Eagles. I in it was eighty three. They beat the. They beat Miami in eighty. Oh no, they beat the. Red, I think they actually beat the Redskins. Was eighty six. The Washington football. The team. Washington football team was eighty six. They were the Redskins at that time. Correct. And that was in the Rose Bowl because I was at Mar- with Marcus Allen. I can tell you that 19, well, the year was, I think, the 1980 football season. So it had to be in 81. See, I get confused when they go into the yeah, next year. Yeah, I don't like that either. What do, I don't, the one that was that, it was against the Eagles, the, Raid, the Raiders But won. that's with Jaworski, right? Yeah, it was Jaworski. Sure it was 1983? No, I'm sure it was not 83. The, Eagle, the Eagles only went once, and that was 1980. And then they won, well, no, they went three times. They lost to the Patriots in like 2004 or five. With McNabb, and yes. then they won. Yes, two years they won in 2018. Yeah, yeah. So interesting. Um, but anyway, regardless, that's so awesome. So may I share my football Absolutely, awesomeness sir. story? So um, I was dating a woman whose father was diagnosed with with stage four metastasized lung cancer when he was diagnosed. That's like, not good. No, that's like. That's like the 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 last day. Is like the last stage. Still alive. Still with us after. F- Holy crap. It'll be five years in December. Wow. Amazing. Fucking love Yay. that man. Fight that shit. Um, but he has stayed four for the five years. And I just, I sent an email to the Cardinals because he was a huge Cardinals fan. Uh, Arizona football Cardinals. Not the St. Louis. Let me, yeah, let me just be clear. Arizona football Cardinals. And I, I just sent a letter, an email to like two, three people. I wrote a letter. I typed one up and mailed it. And then I sent two via email to different names. I think like info at or whatever. I get a freaking phone call the same day, next day, or an email. I forget exactly. They're like, hey, why doesn't he come on out to practice this weekend? Like same week. Comes out. We go to the front facility, and you've been there. It's down the street from where your work is. Yes, sir. And you basically walk in this thing, and there's like a, it's like a conference table. So there's like 10, 15, 20 people sitting there. One kid, you know, wasn't, was like, was had some 
serious illness or whatever, but it's just a bunch of people like, Hey, when you come out the field, just sit here. And at the end, they'll come up and they'll sign something. If they want you to sign, they'll walk up to you. If they walk by you, please respect them. You know, don't you know, like hound them or whatever. Right. So we're like, okay, it was like an, like a tutorial on don't how to trip them. Yeah. Don't be a dick. How about that? <laughs> don't be a dick. Welcome to beer Googles. Everyone. Oh don't be a dick. My God, that's great. So we walk in, man, we turn the corner and there's nobody on the field. We turn the corner, Bruce, freaking Arians, the head coach of the team, is standing there welcoming this group of people. Was he wearing in. his sexy hat? He, of course he was. That's, I have like Which, eight of them. I by love the that way, hat. I do too. My uh, Mr. Norm Schrock, you're yes. out there, Norman. Yeah. He looks like Bruce Arians. It's kind of funny if he wears the hat he's even got. He wears the same hat? Yeah, he does. It's funny. I yeah. love that hat, yeah, dude. I love I wear him every time I golf. The taxi driver hat, kind of. Whatever it's a newsboy cap. Sure. That's what it's called. Okay, bro. I didn't even make it up. Why is my voice so high? Why Why does my voice go high when I'm trying to defend myself? I don't know. I'm talking to dogs. Uh, maybe you got hit in the shuttlecock, bro. Whoa, hey now. Hey now. Maybe yours got hit at 180 miles an hour. I'll tell you what. So uh, we walk around the corner. Bru- the head coach is right there. He's like so welcoming. And, he, and, and it's just so nice. Larry Fitzgerald. Ha- absolute first ballot Hall of Famer greatest Cardinal of all times, arguably probably the greatest wide receiver of all time for one reason. Jerry Rice had Jerry Rice had Montana, Steve Young or whatever. The Cardinals had no real star studded quarterback. Excuse me? Bro, Leinert does not count. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that's where you're gonna you're go. You're such a dick. I am a dick, sir, and I'm also honest. I know. Anyway. My point is, he got all that, all that. Yeah, imagine act, all if he had a great quarterback. Yeah, imagine for, if he had somebody who I mean, actually could throw Tom the Brady. Ball. Yeah, protection, an arm that could get it to him. Yeah, you know, consistency. Yeah, yeah. that would have been great. Playoff teams. He was the consistent one. It's unbelievable yeah, how great. Right, right. He has three pairs of shoes. He walks out with game worn shoes. He gives them all to this kid next to us. The kid that he ended up passing away like a couple months later, and he had some terminal illness. And you know, I didn't know what it, exactly what it was, but. He walked up to him, sat down next to him, gave him the shoes, signed all pairs of them. Like, everybody came up. At the end, all the defensive linemen came up to sign, right? So Calais Campbell's another awesome dude. He's yeah. now with uh, Jacksonville. I met him at the gym. Is he cool or is he cool? He, well, first of all, he is a massive individual. Six foot eight or six foot nine? Yeah, he's double me, bro. Oh, easy. And uh, what? And he's a he's a... He's a brick wall. He's a tank, and but he's a very gentle giant. The most gentle giant. Very, I've ever seen. very amazing gentleman. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe I'll post. Maybe I'll put up a picture when I when we you tweet should. this out because you really should. it's so awesome with Norm. So, so he comes and he signs all these helmet, a football, another helmet. So we we got a pink helmet for CTCA, which is Cancer Treatment Center of America. I was like, hey, like let's get something signed by all the Cardinals. They, we they can put in their lobby. Or something. I just thought about them because yeah. he was going there for treatment. Like I just thought that would be a cool thing. I don't know. It just popped. You in my mean head. not the Cardinals lobby? No, the, the, the cancer, cancer treatment, treatment center, center lobby. lobby. Yeah, okay. yeah. So like Norm would take it and present it, present right, it yeah, to yeah. them just to hey, this is just whatever. So Calais Campbell comes up and he signs. He goes, yeah, I go there. You know, I I do charity work with them. Blah blah blah. He ends up walking away. You know, Norm did his thing, walked away. Somebody took a picture with him. And Norm looks at me and goes, oh, crap. I didn't get a picture with him. And I turn and I'm like, excuse me, Mr. Campbell. Like, I'm sorry to bother you. I know you're on their way back in. Do you mind if we take a picture? Like, he's already done his thing. Yeah. He could. He's all sweaty he, and gross. Yeah. If he said, bro, I, you know, I, I got to get back to my wife and kids or whatever. Whatever, if, whatever he would have said would have been fine. He goes, yeah, come on over here. And he takes a picture of him, and he just stands next to him, just like you do. And then he stands up and does like the bicep, give us the bicep muscle yeah. thing. So Norm is doing his with his left, and Clay is, and it's just like night and day. You yeah, know? of course. It's just like, but that he came back, he didn't have to, man. He didn't have to, and he did. I that like, I will remember that week like no other. Yeah, it, it made my whole life that. Watching Norm, like a 60-year-old man, light up like a child when he yeah. saw Bruce Arians around the corner. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, it's such a great feeling. Like, it chokes me up just thinking about it. I love it. So beautiful. All right. So <laughs> we've got some two really cool football organiz- well said. organizations. Well said, my friend. Well said. Thanks, man. Hang in there, Norm. You're doing awesome, bro. 
That's good to hear. All right. It, dude, CBD oil, everybody. Oh, Helps. Yeah. Rick Simpson oil, CBD. Underrated hemp. The future. The future. So we got a World Series of softball. Shuttlecockville. <laughs> Who's next? Uh, the Raider, his brother-in-law, Patrick, said a Super Bowl team didn't give me a team. Mr. Miller also said a Super Bowl team. He's a Cardinals fan. Okay. So um, they weren't very specific. I don't think it'd matter who you're playing for. I think a Super Bowl is a Super Bowl. I mean, but if you grow up, yeah, you know well, the Kaepernick thing with the Forty ers Yeah, is that the one where he always said he wanted to be a Forty Nine? Is that the one? I, I don't think? recall. I think like his sixth grade paper. Obviously, that didn't turn out great, but initially it was right. He said he wanted to play for the Niners or Packers or something or whatever, and here he is playing for the Niners. Yeah, so that was that's a dream come true. Yeah, winning with that team would be yeah. But awesome. I mean, like, like if you grow up in. Boston, and then the Red Sox draft you. Yeah. You know, or how, like, uh, Pat Tillman played for Arizona State, was drafted by the Cardinals, got that to play. Awesome. For, you know what I mean? That's that like a home, the hometown. The thing, hometown. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, totally. So. Yeah, like uh, Sean Couturier is a hockey player from Phoenix. And he plays for Philadelphia. Weird. Really weird. That's weird. Like, weird. Like, I don't even know. How many? Do we have ice out here? No. We got water. We've got water. Not a lot. Watermark over there. <laughs> okay. So Super Bowl, Super Bowl, Super Bowl. That sounds like a running theme. These people aren't thinking globally. See, they're not Paulie Shore in it, my friend. Oh no. They're not they're not what biodoming it? Yes. Well you gotta think globally. Even though a lot of people do watch it. It's still not the it's still not the universal sport. No, absolutely not. All right. Is that everyone's inputs? No, sir. Okay. Who else? Uh, Mr. Buno said the World Series. He is a Los Doyers fan. What, what is that? Dodgers? Yes. Do Los Doyers. Doyers? Is the Dodgers. Feliz Nave Doyers? Even though he's from Phoenix, he's a Dodgers fan. Okay. Well, it's not like Arizona had a team till whatever, 98. Eight. Hockey in 96. Sure. Football in 88. And then sons have always sucked since they've been here. Since the 60s. Sure. Except for 93. Except for Cotton. Yeah. Um, KJ. <laughs> right. KY. Whoa. Charles Barkley. Right. Yeah, it's funny. Like, the one time they go, oh, yeah, guess who your opponent the is? The Bulls. The fucking Bulls. Like, in their fucking prime. Okay. Yeah, embarrassing. Yeah, Did yeah. They, they won one game, right? I think they won one. I think they lost 4-1. Yeah. or yeah. They might have even. I don't think it got to 3-2. I don't think they won two games. I think too. it was like 3-0 and then like 3-1, 4-1. Yeah. Or it was like like 2-0, 2-1, 3-1, 4-1. It was never. It I don't think it was 1-1. No. Even. That team. Fuck, that, that Bulls team. And that's the thing, like, to this question. Would you want to be on X team? Like, can you go back in time and choose the team you won. Like, do you want to be the 86 Mets? Cause they hadn't won in X amount of years. Do you want to be the 2010 Blackhawks? Do you want to be, you know what I mean? Like, is that included in this question or is it more of just a general team versus individual? And which one? That's a, I don't know. That's a great point. Like, wouldn't you, if it were me, let's be honest, I would want to be the bulls in that eight year span. They won six fucking championships. But would they really have been the bulls without Jordan? no, but that's the thing. He was gone those two years. So I'd still take that eight-year span because they didn't win the two years he played baseball because of the gambling thing. Don't kid yourself, boys and girls. He did not want to try playing baseball. Let's not kid ourselves. Do you know that story? No. The alleged story. This is alleged. <coughs> you remember how his dad was killed? No. His father was killed on the side of the road. The allegations, there's allegations that it may have been a gambling debt that Mr. Jordan had owed. His his son. Michael, okay, Michael. Michael. Once again, all speculative allegation stuff. I'm not being held to this, okay? Gam Jordan Jordan loved to gamble. Like he did with Barkley, he played yeah. ten thousand dollars a whole like it was right. fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Like ridiculous. And part of it was just his personality. He had to. That the competition in him. Yeah. It it drove his it drives his whole life. Like I can't imagine it not. He has to be the best at everything. So 
he the le- the allegations are he was going to get busted for gambling debts. The NBA went to him and said, "Hey, we can't have our poster child suspended for gambling. Do you mind taking off a couple of years?" And then he pursued baseball, and I say in air quotes. It's very very convenient timing. And then he came back. And then he came back, but you know, it's kind of like he served a suspension without actually being suspended. Everything had blown over at that point. So did he retire? He came back. He did. He did technically retire. And he unretired. Right. And he was still under contract, I think. I don't think his contract was up. So he was still technically contract with the Bulls. But if he had stayed retired, it wouldn't have done anything. It would have, yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have just eventually dissolved. No, yeah. Yeah. So I think that's, or they renegotiated. And he didn't, he didn't take a lot of money. He wanted to win. Yeah. So he was like, give me the best team. He really was a, he was a winner. And he would have done, and in the team sport, he sacrificed his personal, really, to for the team to be better, just like Brady did. I mean, these the, some of these teammates are on like they, they get it; they get the legacy outweighs financial. I think, but that that's the story. I don't think everybody gets that. No, no, because when you're looking at a shiny new car, it's kind of hard to say no to that when it's sitting in front of you and you don't have a championship yet. It's so far down. Like, they don't, you don't connect the two. But it's also, well, the way I see it, and I don't think people think like I do, the mathematical possibility of a championship is, is super low. Correct. You're yeah. one person of 53 or of yep. 25 or of XYZ. Okay. And then you've got 32 teams or you've got 30 teams or you've got da da da. So it's, it's, mathematically not very likely you're going to win. Yeah. So you need help. Yeah. And you've got to make sure nobody gets hurt, which is never a guarantee. Right. That's the question though. So here, here's the question is put that into your work place. Personally, I, it's my opinion. I am the top performer in my group of people. Stop it. I would, I would argue without even seeing your work that you are the top performer of your group. Why would you be modest when you're good? I I think you should just be good and let other people recognize it I'm versus kidding, you dude. saying it. But, you know, I'm, I am good, so fuck you. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that is the right answer. Boom! That's a fist bump, bro. No, so I would arguably say that you're top of your group. Whatever. There's I'm, a couple of us yeah, that sure. are the top tier. Very nice. Absolutely. Now, coming down to it, if I were to look and go, okay, you can pay me less so our group does better as a whole... What the fuck do I care? Like, I don't honestly like. It's not like we win a championship with but, work. Yeah, you and I are not Michael Jordan making fifteen million a but year. We are the Michael Jordans of our respective work. Well, would you take a pay cut to bring some other person? Absolutely not. Exactly. So, as a sports player, if you think you're the if you're the Jordan, but an NBA championship and making sure my job is done better is completely different. I, you're right. That's it's not apples and and apple teenies. It's n- neither of those things. Oh, okay. Apple well, teenies. I was trying Fuck to yeah. do. I was trying to get a little bit of an analogy because it's not. There's no direct correlation. I understand. I get the point. If I were the top performer, I don't know if I would take less because I know my career is limited. Yeah. And the championships to me, I I'm, I wouldn't do it for the championships. I'd probably do it for the financial and the freedom that I get after leaving the sport. But those people. Michael Jordan does it for, for, the, championship. for the championship for right. to win. That's his. That the right. money is just a side. That's just correct. I'm wondering what my motivation would be. If my motivation would be to make us all better to win. I want to win. That's not. I will do everything I can to contribute winning. But I would want to be paid compensatory to my to my skill level, which might not have enough money for the rest of the team to be as as good. I, I get I understand. Yeah. So I'm wondering, how would you take that? How would you handle that? If I was Michael Jordan or somebody. Well, if you're Chris Peralta, but you're the best. Uh, you're the best singles badminton player who's about to go into couples badminton. Well, it depends. I mean, if I, it depends on how much I'm making. If I'm making five million a year, I would absolutely take a pay cut. I'd make four million a year okay. to get a better person so that I can win the gold medal. But Heck what if yeah. it's like a hundred million over five years? I guess the, there were some either pretty way, big pay cuts. Either like, way, I'm going to be okay financially 
if it's a hundred, if I'm making a hundred million over five years, I'm okay. I I understand. That's a good. That's how you would view it. Okay. Yeah, because I'm not that that amount of money. I can't even fathom. Correct, but you can't fathom it now. But if you were in the world of sports and you saw what things cost and everything in that entertainment high end world that you're going to move to as yes. as a sports yes. person, yes, that number is not so big, is it? But I, I'm just I'm just asking. Yeah, no, not, I understand. I also don't. I mean, I, I don't, I can't relate to that. Right. I can't relate to. It's kind of hypothetical, right? It, it absolutely is. But I don't, I mean, I'm, my life is somewhat simple. Tom Brady has never, never, I don't think ever been paid the top money of any quarterback in any single year ever. He's played since what? 2001? Sure. 2000? Something like that. So in 20 years, never been the top. And he has six fucking championships and went nine times or eight times. That. That's the Jordan thing, right? Like, yeah. But he knows. I mean, he's look. If I had Giselle too, I don't think I care about much about money. But he has enough, right? He makes. He's a millionaire. He is, and he has many other times endorsements over. too. And he's got a good. He's got a nice face, so he can get magazine covers and things like that. What if you're an Uggo and you can't get anything except for the? Yeah, then you're going to be on Uggo.com. Oh, Uggo. Do you think Uggo.com is a real website? I uh, no. Uggo.xxx. Uggo.net. Ugo.biz. Ugo.tv. Dot guru. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you would James. take the pay cuts and win championships. Yeah, because I want to win. Yeah. I want to win, and I'd be so pissed about losing, but I don't know if I'd ever take yeah, a pay that, cut. Yeah, you should put that in your contract. I will give up the money if we win. If we lose, I want it back. But you can't do that because I, the whole I, point I about the giving the money. I'm being a smart ass. Well, the truth is, no, you could probably work that out because- what if you had all in your contracts? I get a signing neg- I get a negative signing bonus for the championship. So instead of twenty million, I get eight million. And that twelve million then is signing bonuses for each of the people on the team that get the that if we win a championship. I wonder if they have contracts like that and why they don't do that. Well, we I don't- would take a pay cut for a championship all day because you can cash it in. But that's knowing you're gonna get one. Never knowing that you're gonna win one. I think I'd take the money. I'd be like, look, I, my statistics show that I'm the best performer. I, it's my opinion. I should get paid more, a lot more than everyone else. If I, if I were that good. Yeah. But, you know, once again, to your point, championships never a guarantee. So even if you took the pay cut, you may never get the championship. Correct. Do you risk it? If you're, if you're good enough. Yeah. Do you, Christopher Peralta, risk it? Yes. I think you would too. I think it'd be worth the risk. At least for the first contract, one of the contracts. Three or four years, something like that. If you can't get in four years and take the money. Well, at a certain point, you know, every, you start to age and all that crap. Right. And no, obviously, unless you're Tom Brady, then you're, you know, you're going to be 90 still throwing touchdowns. So I looked at a statistic this week. I don't know if you're familiar with Patrick Mahomes and his new contract. I, I mean, I know who he is. Okay. So and he uh, got four hundred thirty million. Yeah, okay, fifty over ten years, forty five million a year. Not guaranteed. It's That's like one twenty four. Disgusting. It's unbelievable. It's forty five million a year. Aaron Rodgers, a Aaron, who, who's a Aaron? Has he been to two and won one? I don't know. He's at least won one, but I think he's at least been to two, if not one two. I think he's won one and lost one. Do I? Ha- Regardless, he his annual he's making twenty three. This is in like a two year span. It went from like he was the top paid like two years ago to that double, like two year double. But that's is A. Ron ten years older than Patrick? Yeah, but that's not really the point. The point well, is he still signed like an eight year deal for one hundred and sixty. You know what I mean? Like it just averaged out to twenty three million a year. But remember, he also has the acc- accolades in the prime of his life to be there. He's sixteen years in the NFL. So he's also earned his con whatever contract he really kind of wants. But, and Patrick's only like 23, 24, right? I agree, but that's very, why it's a 10-year deal, young. not a three-year deal. So like maybe I think Aaron's was like four years for a hundred million. And Mahomes is ten. So it's yeah, it's six years longer, but it's forty five a year for six years longer. I understand. So like to your point, yeah, Aaron Rodgers might go down after a couple years, but he only has a shorter contract. Yeah. He doesn't have a 10-year. Yeah. He had a longer one before, but not now. it's not as long as it was. 
I would think. So God, that's disgusting. Congratulations. But yeah, it's disgusting. But congratulations. If that's how it, if that's the going rate, that's the going rate. Look, we shouldn't watch it to the extent we do. We fucking uh, yeah, I don't. we shouldn't buy jerseys and buy all that shit then. I don't. I know, but I'm saying if if we if we as a people are disgusted by that number, then we as a people shouldn't support it. Uh, I agree. Right? You're you have every right to be disgusted because you put your money where your mouth is. Correct. You're like, nah. What's the one thing I said I wouldn't I wouldn't spend on something? I wouldn't spend on X, Y, or Z. Is like that's where my money doesn't go. Correct. What did you say? Vote with my dollar. You said that about me five years ago. Woodsy votes with his dollar. I believe that is that is the most true statement, and I think I do the same. I think it's a good way to live. Well, that's all we have. I know. So I choose not to watch football. And yeah, well, time and money. Watching it yeah. and spending money on it are your two commodities. You you can get money back, but time you'll never get right. back. I mean, man, I I told you this four five years ago, like when my fantasy football craziness, like before this whole thing took off, before the podcasting or any idea of this, I was a fantasy football. Didn't you have dork. like three leagues? I had eleven. Shut you up. Know, eleven. You no no joke. Eleven. How I came in first in two of them. Second in two of them, third in two of them, fourth in one, fifth, and then like seventh. Or how five. did you, bro? How did you even manage that? It's all online. Well, and no, I click. get, I get that. Once you pick the team, managing's pretty easy. Other than like losing a player and adding players, but you okay? You know, I go hard to the paint when I decide to do something. Like I don't do anything half-assed. We I understand. Spent, we spent like three grand just before we, we hadn't even recorded anything and I'd already spent three grand. You know what I'm saying? Maybe two grand. But that was because I was, com- I'm committed. I'm all in right off the, like when I'm all in, I'm just. But disgusting. that's not how you play poker. I play very conservatively. Yes. But I'm all, like I'm, I'll play for 18, 20 hours yeah. in a row. So that's my commitment is time on that. I still lose in poker. A lot. No, you don't. Well, I don't lose now. I don't play much anymore. So. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost zero dollars this week. Yeah. Good Woo. job. All right, man. So let's back to untangent. Let's untangent. Untangent. This All right. So. So you take pay cuts to win championships, but you take pay cuts for the chance to win championships because yes. technically you don't know their championships. Till Correct. They win. But I if you're Michael money. Jordan, you know, you, you know, your chances of winning are very high. Yeah, let's be honest. LeBron like, James knows that when he goes to a team, they're probably in the finals, at least in the finals, and then they just have to figure it out at the end. Or they have a very good chance of making the finals. Right. Well, you, how many times he went to Cle- with Cleveland twice, Miami like three, four times. Yeah. He's in, he, beat, he just beat the Rockets, and they're in, this, they're in the Western Conference Finals. Okay. I'm just saying, like, I don't follow it that much, but I'm just saying his impact, yeah, to your point, huge. is especially when you're 20% of the people on the court. Yeah. It's a much different, you know, in football, you're one of 33 people. Y- yeah. 30, Ele- well, 33. Offense, defense, special, special teams. teams. Okay. You've got a couple guys that, that do both. They're linebackers, safety, yeah. and on the kickoff team or something. Right. But generally, you're trying to protect your best Good players. guys. Yeah. Okay. So you're basically a third of the equation. So you're actually, you're one thirty third, right? You're 3% of the, like, so a good quarterback, yes, a good quarterback absolutely matters. But they're only one thirty third of the entire players yeah. on the team. Yeah. But they do touch the ball every time. One bad lineman can ruin everything. Right. One bad yeah, just a bad yeah. Just a bad a bad cornerback. Single player. A bad single player yeah. who makes constant mistake, doesn't tackle well, whatever, yeah. could ruin you. Or a rookie that comes in. Or on kickoff. What about a bad kicker that kicks it super low and right to the you know what I mean? So they yeah, like yeah, they yeah. set up their blocking or whatever. Or doesn't kick away from the really good player or you know, all that all those nuances that are in the game. Of course. But um but they do touch the ball every play. You know, every play on offense. Understood. So that's why the quarterback makes sense. But in basketball, you're twenty percent of the team. Basically. I mean you're playing forty of forty eight minutes, right? So you're you're pretty much on the court the whole time. Yes. And you're twenty you're one fifth of the players. So you ha- your impact is so much greater. Yes. Anyway. That was that. Yes. Thank you, Ricky Schroeder's thumb. <laughs> All right, I'm curious what Ricky Schroeder's thumbs, uh, what he would want. He'd want an individual. I would think so. Yeah, just just the thumb. Maybe table tennis. 
Something. The Thumb Pong? Yes. Pong. <gasps> thumb Wars. He oh. won you, uh, championship Thumb War. Bronze medal in Thumb Wars. <laughs> Bronze medal in Thumb Wars. <laughs> All right. Who, who are these next remotes? Next Do we have any up next is remote? Echo Lima. Oh, Echo. He wants to win the Waste Management Phoenix Open with, wait for it, which is a golf tournament in Phoenix in uh, February. Every It's actually the same weekend as Super Bowl, Super Bowl weekend in Scottsdale. Sans COVID, of course. TPC Scottsdale. In Only North, if we don't have COVID. North Scottsdale. Oh, they, we had it this year. Yeah, but okay. So he wants to win the- Bowl, Oh, we did have the Super Bowl this year. We, That's right. So he wants to win that golf tournament. Okay. However, what does that golf tournament have? He needs to win on 16. No. What is the 16th hole? That's it's, the one. That's it's what I'm saying. total mayhem, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He so needs, for those that don't know, the he needs a hole in one on 16. He wants a hole in one all four days in a row. Oh. Is it the nest? What's it called? <sighs> I think it's the bird. Is it the No, the, the bird's nest, nest is where no, they have concerts the, after. Oh, that's right. So, so the, for those, six, that I think it's just the sixteenth hole. The sixteenth hole. For those that don't know, it's a uh, it's a very short hole. It's only about one hundred and fifty yards it's or a less. Par three. It's a par three, but the, they wheel in stands. The, so the, the, the golf tournament's the first weekend of February every year, but in October construction starts to build three tiered structures f- to seat people with. S- Suites and bars and stadium style seatings. Think about a football stadium at a golf hole. It's basically like a small Fenway Park. Yes, and it's enclosed. It like the back part of Fenway. Like, yeah, it like, looks like the 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 deep stands, like the whatever the outfield. Correct, the Green Monster the green and monster. the right yeah, field. It looks like that. So it actually seats somewhere around twenty thousand people just for one golf hole. And it's mayhem. It's, it's, they don't, in golf, usually they encourage people to be quiet. This hole, they encourage you to be loud. They're always playing music. And the players actually encourage the fans to get louder. Go ahead. The real players. The real players. The ones like T dubs who were like, I won't play this tournament anymore because yeah. it's too loud. There are certain players that won't play Phoenix because fuck the, that. The people get, it gets fun. It gets crazy. But they have fun. They never hurt it. They never throw bottles. No, no, at the no, fucking no. Golfers. No, no, no. Never. But like, if you do, if you do miss the green, you do get booed. Yeah, it's true. It's you pretty harsh. Booed. It is harsh. It, it's it's brutal. And I think T Dubs even got a hole in one there. He did. Yes, Tiger Woods got a hole in one many moons ago before there were stands. Before he quit. And it was just. It was amazing. You can beer Google that or YouTube it, and you can look up when he got a he got a hole in one there. But there's been very few holes in one at that that location. But because it just the pressure, it, it's just total. And I did play Mayhem. that course um, with some buddies, uh, but it was in June a couple of years ago. And it doesn't, it looked because there was no stands there, it, it looks, doesn't look imposing it looks at all. Nothing yeah. like it. It looks like it's completely forgettable. It looks like a kitty. It, it's boring. Pole. You're like, yeah. but you can see in the grass where the, where the stands were. Right, you like see, imprints, kind you, of. Correct. You can see where the, the structure was, and it's it's just like any other golf hole. It's boring. You're like, oh, this is it. Okay, well, that's dumb. So, but I, it's 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 mayhem. It gets so many people. It's on Super Bowl weekend. Two hundred twenty thousand people per day for four days in a row. On the Sunday, it gets yeah. like a quarter million, and you're sitting there going, you don't want to watch the game. No, nope. like they're like. Why? <laughs> I don't know what. Like, sixteen is just crazy. I've heard of something about an eagle on on a par four there. Once. Correct. Seventeen is hit a, through some guy's leg, hit a ball, and then deflected well, off and went in. Seventeen is a short par four, so you can everyone can drive the green. Right. My buddy Steve got an eagle on seventeen, a par four. I nice. saw it go in. He did not. Congratulations. Yeah, it was Steve. that was the that's awesome. It was man. awesome. I was on the green. And he you, shipped. He you get sh- anything? Do you picture it? This green? Anything? He, like, we, I humped his leg. Yeah, but you do that to me, dude. Well, yeah. Well, you know. It's called a Tuesday. What was up? Mm. Oh. It was a... I can't even make a... I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that's the sound. Yeah. Little, little Steve like Miller got, a, uh, got an eagle on the 17th Amen. at TPC Scottsdale. That's beautiful. He was below the green and he chipped up and I'm on the green and it, the ball goes bunk, 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 
buck and goes right in the hole. I was like, holy crap, dude, you just got an eagle. And he's like, what? I you go, mean a hole in one, he, you well, fucker. He got, a, he got a two on a par four. So I know, but it's still... It's, it was Wait, awesome. Oh, you got an eagle on a par four? Yeah, with two shots on a par four. Oh, I, eagle. I thought I told you about a hole in one on a par four there. Oh, you're not. Did I say pro- eagle? You did. You said eagle. I'm going back to the tape. A, I apologize. A, a one on Twitter a par four world. is an albatross. Yes. I'm sorry. I just called a hole in one, but I've heard a story about it. Get someone yes, getting a hole in one on on one of the holes. Yeah, that would be one seventeen. Of the par fours, that would be seventeen. Where yeah. he said he hit it, it went through some guy. It hit like a ball deflect went through a guy's legs. Yeah. and went in the hole. Because if they drive the green, yeah. that is absolutely possible. Yeah. So that's what I heard. Yeah. So I apologize. No, when no. I said uh, eagle. I meant hole in one on a par four. Yeah, my, that's possible. My apologies. Uh, it shows you how much I play golf. I think I part it. Which is, I'll take that shit. And run. I'll take, you know what I would take? I'd take like a plus eight. Dude, that's the first course I ever broke 90. Congratulations. I man. got an 89. That was my first below 90 score. And it's a 71 or 72 there? 70. 71. I, I think 71. I, I, Congratulations, I, I have, man. Thank you. Well, how was, long ago was that? Three years. Ago. Three years. <laughs> <laughs> three years. Didn't get par. Three oh, years. Shit. Oh, oh that's you, man. funny. That's beautiful. All right, so we got that TPC. We covered yeah, that. Yeah, so Echo Lima, three, four holes in one. Who's gonna? Who's taking notes on this one? Because we need to have uh, like all these links to all these different things that I have no idea what we're doing. Uh, Mary, uh, senior executive pre- producer, Mary, this please listen job. to this and get us the links ASAP. ASAP. Uh, Chris, Christopher will get you the audio file. Thank you. That is all. All right. Are we are we moving along? I, I never. But okay. Never. All right. Now we're moving on to the Georgia boys. Are we just called a Georgia boys? Do yeah. they have their own Instagram or anything? Uh, At Georgia boys. Uh, one of them does, but I don't think the other two do. I think. Do they all know each other? Yeah, of course. I mean, are they cool? Like, yeah, of do course. they hang out like nerds do? They're not nerds, but they hang out sometimes. Okay, you know, if they hang out enough, they should have an Instagram account together. The Georgia boys. I will present the idea to them right Please after do. this. Do they ever listen to this shit? Uh, one does, yes. Oh, excellent, Ralphus. And when I when I say this shit, I meant like this this actual shit show dump dump dumpster a fire dumpster of fire of show. hilarity of hilarity. I'm telling you, when Siskel and Ebert, when we exhume those motherfuckers and bring them back to life, reanimate them, when we unfreeze Roger Ebert's head, he's gonna call us a dumpster His fire of hilarity. His head's frozen too. I don't fucking know, dude. I'm just making it up. Regardless, it's a dumpster fire of hilarity. So anyway, so who we got next, my friend? Uh, Georgia boys are up. Yes, that's right. And then Christopher's looking something up right now. What I love is Christopher's on his iPad right now, and the glow—he just looks so look beautiful, beautiful. The glow I f- of the th- iPad. There's a in, uh, in there's the, an acronym the that Georgia boy number one used, and I forgot what it was, so I had to look it up. So he, he they each put three selections. Perfect. So selection number one is EPL, and I'm like, what the fuck's EPL? European Premier League. Ah, he yes. is a soccer dude. So he's a football. He's a football European guy. football guy. Football. Yes, he's football. a psycho. He's and a minute bowl football guy. He uh, he loves the Atlanta United. He's big oh. into the football. Ooh, the MLS. Yeah. Well, that's all we got here, bro. Yeah, but that's like it's all we got, bro. Don't do it. Don't be a dick. Don't rag on him. What if it's my time in the month? Well, look, menopause. <laughs> What the fuck was that? Menopause. Menopause Menopause is like menopause, but different. Is that where I just can't get it up anymore? No, it's (laughs) when you when a guy starts getting old and stuff starts to stop working. And I start bleeding. (laughs) Jesus Christ! (laughs) Don't. Hey, is your lung okay? No. Okay, English Premier League. Got it. Yes. Number two. That's more popular than like FIFA. World I, Cup every four years. I don't know. Is it? The skill level's way greater. We'll talk. We'll dive. We'll dive dissect it in a little bit. Okay. What's the I second don't want choice? to, but okay. Uh, well, can okay. I go? When you Premier, it? Okay. No, look at it this way. Oh, it's English Premier League. Yeah. Eng- okay. That's EPL English Premier. League. Okay. I English. thought it was European. Okay. Oh. I'm wrong. Oh, it could be. I think it's English Premier League. But okay. regardless, no, no, you're right. It's where they spend know. all the money. So basically, all the best players. Think of the. Okay. Do you ever play? No. A game. Do you ever play old old time Atari Pac Man? No. Or shitty. And then as it gets harder, it just goes faster. It doesn't actually Yes. Okay. Think of it like that. Think of like every other league in soccer is like Pong at like level one. Yeah. And English Premier League is like Pong at level 
Because they're all great. Yeah. So it's really exciting. Even if the goal scoring is not, it's still, it's higher, I think, than like normal, but it's still lower, you know, because it's soccer. It's hard. It's a hard sport. So is English Premier League just the UK? Yes. So that's not. But they hire people like, they have people like Cristiano Ronaldo. Right. Well, he's Real Madrid. Not anybody. So it's not Real Madrid. It's not. No. The, well, there, no, there is a UEFA Cup. Okay. Which is every year. But the English Premier League is not anybody outside of the UK. I believe English Premier League is only like Liverpool, Chelsea, Manchester, okay. all that stuff. We 99. should play the 9%. Manchester United theme song. They should. We are the... My baby takes the morning train. You get take it from here, sir. I don't know the rest she of the words. She takes the... Nine, nine to five. I don't know the rest of the words. to see the... Manchester, Manchester United, United football, football team. team. Shout out to Eurotrip. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I thought it was like, you know, Real Madrid and right. France and Spain and Portugal. Is it? And, uh, no, it's not. Okay. So, it, but but all those teams hire all, most of 90% right, right. of the People from players. Brazil go play there. Correct. Yeah, like they've the got Ro- the Ronaldinho and Pele. Yeah, yeah everybody. Yeah, all yeah. the good players play there. All the German. Right. Lionel Messi, right. blah, and, blah, blah, and blah, blah, blah. And don't get me wrong. They'll play at like Bundesliga, which is German, the German league equivalent to the English Premier League. Then you've got your it, Italy, Spain league, which is like your Bar- Barcelona. So you've got like three main leagues, but they all spend a lot of money. Okay. English Premier League probably has the most balanced like outpouring of talent overall, I, I would guess. Okay. Not a football guy. I do know a little bit about it, but I'm not super into it. So, yeah, that's a good one. But I'm just saying the world recognition of a World Cup, which is every four years for your country, you never have to buy a meal ever again, I wouldn't think. Okay. I'm guessing, right? I mean, sure. but I guess if you lived in England. But what happens when you leave England? Do you think they give a fucking, fucking Kalamazoo, Michigan, that you won an English Premier League football championship? I don't plan on going to Kalamazoo. If you're in the English Premier League? Ever. Oh. What if you're from Kalamazoo? Well, th- then that, that's great. <laughs> uh, you haven't answered the questions. You just told His me that you don't want to be in His next choice Kalamazoo. after English well, Premier League is World Cup. Oh, that's why. <laughs> you dipshit. <laughs> you could have just said he's footballing all over the place. I was just going to wait for you to dig your own grave. I totally dug a good hole, didn't I? Get some more lane here, bro. Hand check. Uh, <laughs> um, Any other soccer comments? I'm done. Thank the gods. Thank you, Ricky Schroeder's <laughs> thumb. Any other soccer comments? No, but I have a comedian thing after this. Well, who's the th- what's the third choice from this gentleman? The World Series. That covers pretty much every base, literally. <laughs> Seriously, you got you've got Europe who's huge into soccer. Yeah. And you've got Japan, you know, the East, Japan, and the West, US and South America huge into football or yeah. baseball, I mean. That, that's a pretty global, pretty global. He's like Paul Shoring it all over the place, man. Paul Shoring it. Do you ever hear the comedian who's like, "I think football should should be soccer, right?" Like Football should be called soccer. Should be football because you use your feet. I agree. Boxing should be soccer because you sock people. <laughs> Hockey should be boxing because you go in the penalty box when you do a penalty. And baseball should be hockey because you're hocking all the time on the bound. <laughs> so, what should American football be called? I he didn't get that far. He just stopped at that. Hitting, sure. Tackling uh, baseball. Tackle tackle sport. Bed the ball. But isn't that, that's pretty funny. They should call I, just it shoulder was, pads. I thought that was cute. Cleats. No. Soccer for socking. Yeah. Boxing for the penalty box. Hockey for hawking. Pretty, yeah, I don't like all the spitting. I really don't. It's lot. always it bothered happening? me. Yeah. I don't know. I just, I stopped watching. I can't get into, that's I can't. Your favorite. I can't, I can't do it with no fans, dude. You can't? I, ha- I watched for the first two weeks of the season. You know, once. In, do you watch the fans watch the game? No, there's no fan. It's the cardboard cutouts. I know. Do you, does it matter? It, I don't like it because they pump in the fake sound, right? The fake fan noise, and it's, not, I, it's artificial. I don't like it at all. I hate it. It's it's, it's manufactured. I watched part of the Mets Yankee game last week, and the seeing Yankee Stadium empty, I'm like, I this is so dumb. It's like a fake game. Yeah, why it's am manufactured, I? Why yeah. am I watching this? I don't. So uh, I don't even care. I actually had a thought 
that there's going to be a time where all the athletes will be playing in one type of stadium or one area, and it's all going to be televised without fans at all. There's going to be a point where you don't need fans. And it'll be like a pay-per-view or some kind of thing where, or, or it's just televised. So you just get all the television revenue. Cause how I, far away is that in time? 20, 30 years. Thank God. I don't want to be around for that shit. Well, I, I want to go to the ballpark. Well, I want to no, hear I get the crack that. of the bat. I get that. I want to buy a wiener. But there's downsides to building a stadium in a, in a town, in a city. Uh, of course there is. Huge downside. Like, Huge. Because people talk about. When are you going to put Jessica's voice on the board? Huge. I'm sorry, Jessica. Ms. Garcia. Should I send you daily reminders to do it? Yeah, I, I need to I need to cobble that together. And Yep. Huge thank, di- you, thank you, Ricky. Sure huge downside to a stadium. Oh. So they talked about um you know, you talk about this economic boost that it's gonna give your area. And other than hosting like a Super Bowl, which we can because we're a fair weather town, it's bullshit. Well, Detroit can. They have a dome. I, they can, but they don't all. And they they have hosted a Super Bowl. They have. I'm just saying, I'm just, not yeah. everyone, not every but, city but does. But Boston would not. Right, Boston would not. New York technically did, but shouldn't have. Correct. I agree. At their mean temperature and they were outdoors. It I didn't agree. make any sense. I agree. So I get that. But like Minnesota is now a dome. Well, they were yeah. always a dome, but they're no. Are they outdoor now? Or are they a dome again? No, they're getting a new stadium. They are getting a new stadium. I don't is know dome, the status out, of that yet. Yeah. Uh, hopefully it's a dome. Hopefully it's dome. Jesus. But Green Bay is outdoors. Yeah, but that's true. I like. I, it's, it's Lambo Field. I get it. It's Lambo I, and Wrigley and I, or Wrigley Soldier Field, right? Yeah, in, in Chicago. Look, I get all that, but the thing is, they talk about bringing a boost to the economy. All it does is change the disposable income of the area. Instead of going to Chuck E. Cheese's, you're going to a baseball game. You don't actually increase the amount of monies going to the area by but building more, a stadium. Yeah, but the people come here and they stay in the hotels. Some people do, but it's very rare to pot like how many, other than Canadians coming for hockey, but they come more for golf. They'll come just as much for golf. Okay, as but, okay for let's hockey. wait. So if the Super Bowl is here, yes. people come for a week right. and they stay in Verbos or right. hotels. What if and you're they, in a town that doesn't have a Super Bowl though? What if you're in Chicago right, right. now? Right. So Chicago doesn't have the luxury of hosting a Super Bowl every I, 32 I years. I understand that. To get that in extra income. Right. Yes, people go to Chicago, but they're going to Chicago to tour anyway, right? Right. So, like, w- building a stadium in your town doesn't actually necessarily increase the amount of income to the area. Unless it's a dome, unless you can do it for Super Bowl. Okay. Right. I get, now I it understand. It only changes what you spend your money on locally. Like, instead of going bowling with you, so I'll go to a hockey game with you. Let's go bowling. Okay, st- we stop, should Let's, stop. Yeah. So your theory about sports being played without fans in 20, 30 years, is that something you read or not at all? It's totally that, manufactured in my head because so you think that's because of land and cities just refusing to spend bond money on that anymore and just not being able to afford it. OK, so what they might do is they'll make they'll make a field that's the correct size, maybe cover it, make a high, like more of like a practice field. But no field. stands. Right. But why have stands when they, they'll just televise, they'll have a hundred cameras around and you'll get every angle and you can watch from POV, from like the foot, they'll have a chest cam and a helmet cam. Yeah. They'll all, I'm just saying that's the future I see. So you don't think that the season ticket holders and the concession sales is worth, you think they're willing to sacrifice those dollars? I don't think they are, but I feel like the cities are going to push back and say, no more. We're not. We our- won't pay for it. Right. You pay for it or fuck off. Right. And I think there's a point where it's just going to be like, you know what? Everyone's on TV anyway. We're streaming everything. You can watch anytime you want. Why? Why do we need this hassle of traffic getting in and out? Yes, I understand the fan experience, but I feel like the younger generation doesn't live that the way we did growing up. I, I see your point. Right, I I feel like it's watered down more. So and this summer's making it worse. Summer's making it worse. Uh, global warming's is getting hotter and hotter to be outside. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. Um, let's blame it on everything. When are yeah. you gonna fix your mic? My mic's completely you, fine. It's the boom. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That when part. are you? You need a wrap around. I need a wrap around, bro. You I think a, we need we need to face each other for reals. Well, we are. I know, but you know we'll get there. You know what's really awesome? Though? What's that? We sound delicious. <laughs> we have voices for podcasting. We, thank you, Danny Wu. We have voices for podcasting. So, 
uh, Georgia boy number two. So what are your thoughts on that? Do you think that'll never happen? And it may never happen. I just thought that I, there's I, a point where the costs outweigh the like the incomes. Uh, I see your point, and but like the the contracts are going to keep going up. So until they don't. Okay. Well, okay. This thing with Patrick Mahomes, right? But football's still doing well. Uh, I understand. They need to pay for that, and I, I I also know that the majority of their revenue streams come from TV sponsorships and all that TV contracts, right? right? So they that's ha- not going to be lost. Uh, I, of course. But they will lose, to your point, a lot of money in stands. I think merchandise sales will probably be less because they're not wearing them at the game. Yeah. But I feel like their cost to execute would be less because they don't have as much travel. They won't have as, you know what I mean? They won't have costs against them. It, it might be. I mean, there's going to have to be a massive actuary accountant yeah. CPA study done to see because you're talking the, the amount of money each game the revenue yeah a, a damn diet Pepsi's nine dollars for yeah. Christ's sake yeah. for syrup water and ice right it's disgusting and I get that but remember that's what the team's making money wise if they don't invest in the stadium if they don't get that city bond, Let's be honest, like Cardinals wouldn't be here if it wasn't for that stadium. I, I agree, I know. Uh, how many teams had threatened to leave other places if yeah, stadiums all of them. weren't built? Pretty much all of them. Yeah. I mean, the L.A. one is $5 billion with a B. Okay, ours was under $400 million or $430 million, something like that. Ten times the cost. The how newest, is that even po- Because it's much bigger than just the stadium. They, they did a bunch of other things. I saw that other bullshit. Yeah. But it is private, almost all... Almost all privately funded. Yeah. That's fine. You you can risk that. But to take city money, I think cities are just over it. They're, it's just like not worth it. Some cities are going to let teams go. They just can't afford it. And I don't think that's bad. I don't think it's bad either. That's what I'm saying. But if, say, two or three start losing their teams and they stop building a city, like, what, do we play somewhere else? Like, who, what city are they going to move to? What if no city decides? I, I feel like there's a almost like a tipping point where they're yeah. going to put their foot down. Go, you know what? I'm kind of, you want 500 million? I mean, 435 was it? What, how old is this one? 10 years? Not even 10 years. Sure. 10. 2000. I don't know. 10, 15 years? 10. 10 years old. Yeah. And uh, 2008, 2007. So 15 years old. Let's go 2005. Because they had the 2008 Super Bowl. Um, So it's 15 years old. And uh, cost four thirty five. The newest one's five billion. Cost ten times that in fifteen years. Makes no sense. Patrick Mahomes making double what Aaron Rodgers made when he was the most highest paid two years ago, three years ago for the same position. So there's there's a point where it's just too much. You know shit, right? And I feel like the NFL isn't recognizing that they're losing a lot of eyes. Do you reasons. really believe that's what's happening? Yes, I think they're just Mark Cuban. Would you argue that Mark Cuban's a pretty smart guy? He's pretty heady with. I his. really don't like him. I don't like him either, but it doesn't change the fact that he's smart. Uh, like, I don't. I don't have a feeling about him, but he is smart. I think. Sure. He wrote a letter to the NFL after they did Thursday night games, and he said, "You know what's going to happen? You're watering down your product. You are now having Thursday night, Sunday, Sunday night, Monday. and Monday night games." Technically, you're four because Sunday can be broken into two because it's a day off. So sometimes you have family time and then home time. Yeah, so I could see that being two separate events, right? Well, you have games for nine hours. Right. Thursday night, Sunday, Sunday night, Monday night. Those yeah. are your big events. Yeah. And you've got th- technically three on Sunday, right? You've got a, yeah. a one o'clock, games. a four o'clock, right? Seven, East yeah. Coast time and then an evening game. He's like, there's a point where that's going to get watered down. And he writes that, and this, the same year or the next year, ratings took a dip. Never had gone down at all. And it's he just knows that, that when they added that, they took away your need to watch it every... You're not going to watch it every day. Well, yeah, because Sunday and was like football day. Football day. So, honey, I love you. And t- yesterday... On Saturday, we're going to go out and go for a picnic. I'll wake up at 5 a.m. and I'll mow the lawn and do the hedges. We're going to take the kids out. We're going to go to the park. We're going to have a great time. Sunday, 
you're going to take the kids to church and I'm going to fucking put my hand down my pants and I'm watching football. You need to leave me alone. Right. That's, that was kind of the, that was kind of the agreement. You need to bring me a beer every hour and refill my Cheetos bowl. Back then it was a demand. Now it's please fuck you. I'll get my own beer. Right. And, and that (laughs) and empowerment. Right. (laughs) So back then it was like that. Now that there's so many days, it's like, well, my, my wife wants me to do something with her on Sunday. I guess I'll just watch the Thursday game, but I won't watch all Sunday. Right. I mean, that's, that's the risk. I I get it, dude. Or, or you just don't watch Thursday because you're like, dude, I don't have time for all this football. On it. I agree with you completely. And I'm shocked that when the CTE stuff became headline news five, six years ago, took a dip also. I thought for sure it was the end of the NFL. I, I, so I, I would have put a thousand dollars on it that I don't have. Do you know what I thought it was the end of what high school below high school football? Yeah. Right. And I thought they just would have ended all the pop Warner and no more football. So there was no farming system. Correct. There, no college, nothing at that point. It would just trickle down to points and, where no one wants it. And then in 15 years, NFL has gone. Yeah, but yeah, that, but that, I, I agree. I was shocked, but you know what? People Who, who's playing football, uh, little boys, people from like where Michael Vick grew up. Yeah. And well, Allen Iverson grew but up. But every, the people everywhere, dude, Compton, like everywhere. I, I understand. But what's interesting, what's great about football and basketball and soccer is that you, you just need a ball to play and grow up. Like you can actually become pretty proficient at these, some of these sports where you just need a ball. I understand. And tends to be, uh, economically downtrodden. Cause like, that's their way out. Right. Like sports, maybe the military, maybe they have, of course, maybe that's all the options. They have more options, but maybe that's what all they see. Right. Cause that's all they've, they're familiar with. And we need to work on that, educating them that there are more options in war or football, but that's where most people come. So I don't, I thought the same thing you did, but I don't think they see the long-term effects because they're not looking long-term. They're just trying to get out of where they are now. But I, I think we should do a, a podcast on CTE. I agree. Let's do one. That would be a knock. It is conscious. on my list. Okay. Because it is a scary thing. Yeah. And you and I both had head, head injuries. Yep. So I've got a lot of thoughts about CTE. Okay. And I work with a lot of people that like football players and whatnot with my old CBD oil company. Wow. The second time CBD came up. Today. Well, how about that? It's weird. Moving and on. That was, there was no agenda there, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I, I didn't say there was. I know. I, I wanted to be clear. Because it sounds like uh, an infomercial now for CBD oil. CBD, CBD, CBD. Double E, double E, double O, double G? Yeah. One C, one B, one D? Yeah. Cool. Georgia boy number two. All team championships. Every one of them. NCAA basketball. Number one. That's a, it's a cool one because it's like, especially if it's an upset. It's different. If, yeah. yeah. If you're like. You got to get through the, the, the 64 tournament. bracket. Yep. And what if you're like a 12 seed or something and fucking get to the end and win? Yeah. That, that's, that'd be the shit. The Gonzaga Not story. chalk. Not that bullshit chalk. I want I want the, the underdog. Yeah. I want Villanova Georgetown, 85, baby. Fucking Patrick Ewing. <laughs> <laughs> Rolly Massimino, bro. Uh, next would be, uh, we have some repeats. NFL Super Bowl. Always. And the Major League Baseball World Series. All right. We have some good ones here. On George Boy number three. Do we need more light in here? Do you want me to turn on light? Yeah, we're sitting yeah. in the dark. All right, hold on one second, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna go get a drink while you read these off. All right, well, you're gonna miss you're gonna miss the shit. Well, then I'm just gonna turn on the light and I'll listen to you in the same room. Okay, I'll, you can go get a drink. Okay, so uh, George Boy number three, number one, the Masters. A game like any other. Which was the Masters. Also on my list, and I am upset that he stole my idea. Is the Masters the one? For me? We'll get to that. Okay, cool. Okay, so number two, World's Strongest Man. That's an awesome one. Is he wants to be Magnus for fucking Magnuson? Is who Mag Magnuson? Magnus for Magnuson. Did you know that? Did you watch a game at GOT? Did you watch Got? Did uh, you got the got? first three seasons only? Do you know the mountain? 
Yes. Is that he him? Is, no, he is a professional strongman. Strong uh, and that dude is eight gazillion pounds of fucking just pure muscle. I think it's gristle. <laughs> There's nothing on this plate but gristle. He's 800 pounds of pure well, gristle. That dude is a huge. A huge. Huge. Hey, Jess. That dude's huge. 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 All right. Does he have a does he have a strongman name or is it is it going to be his own name? Uh, he did not give me a name, and I apologize for not. Mary didn't ask. He needs. All right, to. executive producer just got Senior. demoted to executive oh. producer. Oh, man. She's just. Producer. She's a junior executive. She's now. just producer. Um, she's a key grip, and <laughs> we don't even have. Film. She's into lighting. She's the key grip. Yeah, we don't even need. We. I just literally flick the light switch. I don't even need her now. She's on temporary probation. Her. Double secret. Double secret probation. probation. Perfect. The third and perhaps the best answer. The mustard belt. Also known as Nathan's hot dog eating championship. Hot dog competition. Fucking. He wants to be Joey motherfucking chestnut. That's correct. Isn't Joey chestnut the dude that's like from Arizona? Isn't he the one who won his qual? I I think he won the qualifier here. He won eight, like 80, 98 hot dogs or some shit. Yeah. Did you watch it this year? No, I of did. course not. It's disgusting. There was no fans. I don't care. <laughs> Place is crazy. And the guy who announces it is a weirdest motherfucker. I don't I don't I don't care about the wiener eating, dude. I then why do you think it's the best one ever? Because it's such a strange, yes. amazing answer. Why not wing bowl? Why not wing bowl champion? <laughs> wing bowl. Yeah. I don't I El just wing thought adore. that, that Bro, was, the, the answer was so different than everyone else's, and I love that. Do you know what wing bowl is? You, you eat chicken wings, I assume. Yeah. You know where it is? Take one guess. Buffalo. Where you think, now, where do you think it is? Buffalo. Here? Philly, bro. Why isn't it in Buffalo? Because they didn't come up with it. So oh. this is what happens. It's the that week. Be the, Philly is the cheesesteak bowl. The week between. They probably have that too. The week between the soup, uh, the the la, the championship game and the Super Bowl. You mean the Pro Bowl? Well, sometimes it's after The now. former it's, location yeah, of the Pro the Bowl? The former Pro Bowl, whatever. <laughs> they did a thing called Wing Bowl. And it was at the Philadelphia Stadium. They line up all these people. When whoever it was cold, eat the most wings. It's indoor. It's a. It's oh. like the indoor stadium, uh, the hockey stadium. Oh no! Where the basketball, where the Sixers and Flyers play. Okay. Not where the Eagles play, bro. What does okay. it matter? Okay. It's a wing bowl. Okay. It's not Super Bowl because the Eagles don't go to many of those. Okay. It's a Super Wing Bowl. Super Wing Bowl. So they all have names like El Wingador and all these other people. Oh, nice. So like they've interviewed these guys and basically what is who can eat the most, but there's a skill to eating the wing. You have to like get the whole thing off the bone because it doesn't count if it's not clean. So there's a certain cleanliness. Are they the drumettes or flats? I think I'm guessing they're all flats because it allows you to do that I grip and rip. Assume. I would think that because it's, grip and rip. Yeah. Grip and rip. <laughs> I all like flat, and they're flaps, not flats. Oh, I think they're flats because they're that's oh flap. I got as a wing flaps. That's where I nobody I, can see him doing the chicken right. wing dance. Chicken with wing. One I arm. did that for you though. You I didn't did. do it for for the audience. You just Stage did the flap, flap. right? Because it's a the flap, P. not a flat. But I thought it was called a flat. Because yeah, because we was, went out a year ago, and you said, "Can I get flats?" Flats, and I my hearing sucks. So I said it. I was wrong. You, you misspoke. I was. R- r- I can almost say it. I misremembered. I was incorrect. Yes, I misforgot, actually. In Whoa. That case. So they have this wing bowl thing. And the Nathans is hosted by the IFOCE, the International Federation of Competitive Eating. Don't care. Neither does the audience, but I'm telling them <laughs> anyway. So wing bowl, this dude, El Wingador, like a week before or two weeks before he, uh, the competition, he would chew two and a half pounds of Tootsie Rolls to strengthen his jaw muscles. Oh, my God. And he'd drink, like, seriously, like 10 gallons of water a day. He would just flush his system. He was like, harsh, Are the wings... Harsh, 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 what flavor harsh. are the wings? I think they're just, like, my, a buffalo wing, like, mild. Like, wing. mild? Yeah, so they, they're wild. They're, they're not, not dry, they're, but they do have a sauce. I think they do have a sauce. I'd have to look it up. But once again, it's another link we won't put on the site. <laughs> <laughs> but it's called Wing Bowl. Anyway, is it now an official part of... An, <laughs> <laughs> it is now officially part of the International Federation of Competitive Eating. So it's an I'm official I'm so excited event. to not know about that. Yeah. So anyway, back to back to the guy who can handle wieners. Yeah. So this guy wants to be world known as the guy that the can mustard. stuff the most wieners down his throat. Yes. Mustard. Belt. In the shortest amount of time. Yes. 
does he have to have a conversation with himself? Or his wife? No. Okay. His wife is very secure in his wienerdom? I, I, I don't. I've never met her. I don't know. She, he's married? Yes. Is it a beard? Is it a beard? Yeah. A beard is a cover up for. I mean, know, he does a have a likes, beard. Who likes to eat a lot of wieners in a short period of time. You've never heard of the term beard? No. Oh. I've heard bear. Well, I've there's been, bear. I've been called the, a bear. Oh, yeah. You are a bear, bro. <laughs> Oh man! The way you, you said that, I am. <sighs> stop you're, it! You're Dude, let's most, move along mm, off the wieners, you're bro. You're the most delicious bear I've ever seen. Shut bro. the fuck you up! You and me would both be bears. Oh yeah. Oh, we'd both we'd tear into that fucking society. Oh, dude, we'd tear it up if we if that's what we wanted. I'm traumatized. We by don't the past that, if, one and a half minutes. If that were what we wanted, we could be bears. But a beard is someone disguising their preference by having an opposite sex relationship. So if you were gay, but you really were straight, you'd have a boyfriend. <laughs> Is that an anti beard? That doesn't even make sense. I think if you were gay, no, but if you were straight, if you were straight and you were hiding it, you would hide it with a boyfriend. Y- y- one would do that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that's ever been done before. No, that sounds like the best backwards flippity. I think I'm going to do that. That's a flop flip. I would like a boyfriend. I'm going to talk to Megzi about this. Okay. She might like him too. Because you don't want anyone to know you're straight. Yeah, I don't want anyone. So you get a boyfriend. I want a boyfriend, and he's my beard for Megzi. Yes. Wow. Steven. Megzi and I would be on the DL. Totes. And and Steven and I would be all out there. Out. Okay, so. This got weird. Yeah, it did. Good so job, this guy Jane, shows wieners the wieners. Throat. So the mustard belt. Yeah. That's an awesome choice. It really is. Okay. Two of his. Strong man and must Like, yeah, those that's two kick alone. Ass. What about the strongest dude who can eat the most wiener? That's why he's so strong. And he eats a lot of wieners. And he won a Super Bowl. Or what was his first? I one? don't know, dude. He won something else. Who cares? I know it's pretty cool. So what's the next? That's is that the third that's Georgia the final? Point? The Masters was his first. The one. Masters. Yeah, dude. Those are three very solid choices because they are very different. All right, man. That's it. Now on to our choices. Yes, we're going to start. We're doing three each. Is that what we agreed upon? I don't have three. Oh, what, how many do you have? I have one. Oh. But many other mentionables. Okay, well then let's just go back and forth All with right. some that we think we'd want to do. Uh, my mentionables are... We're going to do one, then we'll do the mentionables, because I only have one also. Okay. Or do we want to do the mentionables and then... Do I our, don't... Yeah, let's do the mentionables. Sorry. Don't, <laughs> don't get mad at me, bro. I'm trying... Ricky Schroeder's thumb is not in, in is not putting as much input today as I'd like, so I'm trying to feel like I'm carrying the show right now. And it's do you want to just shut the hell up and let him talk? Damn, that was insightful. Nice job, little thumb. Thank you, Ricky. <laughs> oh, <laughs> little Ricky, Ricky, you're so fine, little fine, you're so okay. fine. Oh, Ricky, oh, 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 Ricky. Let's go to honorable mentions, bro. Okay, because we're gonna close on our two. Uh, I think that's how we're gonna close on the drum roll. I would have the first honorable mention. Is Formula One. Imagine a 16 race season lasts seven, eight months, and you're tied for the. That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. So you, you know, you're you're in a Ferrari. The other guy's in a Renault or a Mercedes or whatever, and you're tied in points going into the. The last race. It's bottom of the ninth, bases loaded. Exactly. Three, two count. Exactly right. Two outs, bottom of the ninth. It's the same thing. Bases loaded, yeah. You got, you got 50 laps, two miles per lap, 13 turns. I don't know where the last race is now. It used to be Suzuka in Japan, but obviously I stopped following Formula One. And even better, your teammates who are so vital are not even racing. The ones that help you block and get in front, to help you get in front, they're not even in the race. That that's even better because it's head to head. Then, just saying. Well, your teammate is there's there's I know. there's but the team racing fucks it up sometimes. Yeah, but you know how good is your pit crew? Yeah, I know. You know um, what's the weather conditions? Right. Is it raining? Are you better at racing in the rain versus the other guy? But the point is, so if you're imagine going into the race tied for per, per points against your arch nemesis imagine doing 50 laps and you're going down into the final turn to win the to win the formula one world championship and you duck inside that guy in the final turn without bumping him but you get on the you you're 
you're drafting him, you're behind him, kind of like a couple of sweet and low packets, but different. And you you duck in, you get on the brakes last, you duck inside, and you take the corner clean, and you get on that last straightaway, and you win the Formula One World Championship. Again, bottom of the ninth. Yeah, it's a single championship, but you don't do anything without a pit crew, without the the engineers, the guys, the, 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 they design the and engine. Your teammates, really. Yeah, I mean, you have a massive, massive, massive support crew. The team racing in Formula One is I is akin to me as bicycle racing. Yeah, yeah. Because they block and they do like you. You've got your hierarchy. Lewis oh, Hamilton yeah, yeah. is the top racer. Absolutely. Michael Schumacher was a top yeah, racer. for many years. And the other guy was behind him, and he became number one when Schumacher left. Yes. And it became, it's a very hierarchical kind of thing. Yeah. I do wish it was a little bit less teamy because, but at the top. Yeah, I see your, I, I get it. I agree. But I love what the paint, the picture you just painted. I'm a bit is, imagine that. No, that's what I'm saying. That picture of head to head just at the end or that pits, the last pit stop. Yes. And you got foo, 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 foo. Yeah. And you get like a half a second and you're on that. Yeah. Brrr, imagine going into out. the pits oh, yeah. and you're in second and, and you, you come, come out, out of, first. Exactly. Fuck yes. And that, and your team just won you the yep. Formula One World Championship. Yep. That's. That's amazing. Yep. And that you're there's only a hundred guys that have won the world championship. That's unbelievable. Same That's thing crazy. with MotoGP and racing. For, you know, World Superbike. Th- those those are those are rare, rare, rare feats. So that's that's one. Of, that's my first honorable mention. I love that. Is an excellent choice, and and it deserved an applause. Like, thank I you said. so much. Check right, mark. So my honorable mention has been spoken. Oh, it's just because we're going to have multiple of them. But we're talking about, like, do you want to be a winner of an individual or a team sport? Yeah. So, honestly, I'm cool with either. I can play an individual sport. Like, tennis is something I really like, and we'll talk about that late in the later honorable mentions. But soccer is a great team sport, and it's so international. So, to me, I would think being on the World Cup team of any country, obviously the United States in this case would be great, but um, or Germany. Wouldn't be cool. It'd be cool to like have dual citizenship and be on the yeah. team that won. Cause like that's my heritage. But um, I think winning any kind of like real premier football soccer league, like FIFA or, or the UEFA, which is like, it's basically the champions league of all the main of the EPL, the Bundesliga. And the so it's like right. really good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So that's the one I always go with just because like, I love team sports are great, but the recognition you you wouldn't have to ever buy a meal anywhere. Everyone would know you. Yeah, in free your, tacos yeah, in your country. Your all country. the tacos. All of it. yeah. You, would you play for Mexico? That'd be fucking cool. Um, there. The only reason I would say yes is because there's a guy on the Mexican national team. Last name's Peralta. So, I mean, I, obviously, I was born and raised in the U.S., but you know, um. I don't even, I'm not even fluent in Spanish, so I can't, I wouldn't play for the, no, I wouldn't play for the Mexican team. <laughs> I'm not 100% fluent in German. I can speak a lot of it, but. So, I, you speak way more German than I speak Ich kann Spanish. mehr Deutsch sprechen als du kann Mexikanisch. Otra cerveza, por favor. Beer. Please. And you want a favor? Another, you want a sexual another, favor and a beer? Yes. Poor I, favor? I want two beers in a sex bot. <laughs> Como se dice sex bot? Sex bot's on the way, bro. <laughs> Really interesting. Remember we had, we, I tweeted at Scott Adams says, and I, I, cause he mentioned something about, uh, square one. Is that the Dilbert guy? The Dilbert guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I sent out a shout. So I started following him and yeah, he yeah. had a thing today and he was talking about AI and how AI is being used to manipulate current, like. Ta-da. Mm-hmm. I called it. He's a really smart dude. You're a really smart dude. And I'm just saying, regardless of anyone's belief system or or whatever philosophies smart people are smart people people we need to listen anyway so uh fifa ish whatever yes i dig that I and dig that. you know i just love that everyone in qatar was dying while they were building the stadium for the yeah for that the was fucked up same FIFA thing in russia do with the olympics did you hear what they did with brazil uh is that with the um the last the zika well the last olympics there's there's some fifa Sh- oh yeah yes on. yes i did hear about, about like coke yes. getting coke to be the sponsor whatever so they 
wrote a bill that it was like the national soft drink. Yeah, yeah, Some yeah. fucking crazy shit. And it's all a fucking money grab, man. And everyone below them is dying. And everyone else is pocketing that money at the top. It's corruption, man. We, You and I are on this such... I hate to say, but we're, like, we're on a weird crusade to like... Just... Obviously, we can't win all these things. But to know it, maybe you can steer away from it. Or at least be aware of these things, right? Yes. Anyway. Honorable mention for you, sir. Um, the, the 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 second one is the, it's more general. It's I I pull for the I always pull for the underdog, and that's probably to a fault. Any any anybody, regardless of gender, that's kind of getting towards their later years. Any any athlete, regardless of sport you know, a golfer or a tennis player that's really good and really popular, but they'd never won a major. Let's say Phil Mickelson. Phil's won three masters and, you know, U S open, not, uh, he hasn't won the U S open. Uh, he's won the British open. You know, let's say he never won the masters and now he's 40. Now he's 41. Now he's 42. And the guy finally breaks through and wins the masters. Like that Cinderella type story, you know, let's say there's a popular tennis player and he's always right there, but he's never won a Wimbledon or a U.S. Open. Top five ranked always. Exactly. I mean, he's won a couple other smaller tournaments here and there and then 42, 43, and then the dude wins freaking Wimbledon against a 22 year old that's number one in the world. That's the sort of thing where some guy that's been a utility player for a baseball team and he's 38, he finally wins a World Series. Council? Yes. He won, kind of, but he was younger. He, well, he won with the but Marlins. But he was a utility player. He won right? with yeah, the Marlins. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, so, yeah, it's true. But dude. there's that any Marlins kind of a story yeah. like that with the guy Something that's... Something like that. Biggio, or what was the one? There was one that... Did Piazza go to a World Series? Never did before? He didn't win, though, I don't think. Didn't he go with the Mets? I think he they did played the go. Yankees? They beat the Yankees? No. No, they lost. They lost. Right, I think that, he Isn't went. that when he charged the mound against Clemens? I thought that was with Boston still, and he was with... I don't remember. I'll be honest. I don't remember. I didn't know that was during the World Series. Uh, it may not have been. It may have just been the it Subway Series. It might have been Boston series. versus... Oh, yeah. It, it might have been, been a Subway a series. series. Yeah, or whatever. Metro Series, whatever they call them. Because Boston and... In, in, um, any anyway. of those Any of those guys, yeah. or and ladies, because there's female golfers, and there's like... Mike D'Antoni is a coach for the Lakers. Okay. For basketball. Yeah. He is now the third longest winning coach with the most third most wins that hasn't been to a championship. Wow. Kind of thing. It's like 972 wins or some ridi- or 792. It's some ridiculous number like wow. He's won 10 full seasons of basketball. 8, you know, 800 games or so. Never been to a championship. Not even with the Sun. Remember they were good even with them with Nash. You yeah. would think one. Yeah. You'd sneak one one time you'd sneak through. Right. Wh- who's the coach? Marty Schottenheimer. Right. With football. He was and with the Chargers forever. He was with and the, the Chiefs. Chiefs and the Browns, and they kept losing to the freaking Broncos. He was with the guy, the Browns. When, remember the drive, the Elway drive? Yeah, of course. He was with the Browns. He yeah. was the Browns coach yeah. when he fumbled on the, Ernest Biner fumbles yeah. on the two. Right. Then he goes to the Chiefs. Then Christian Okoye fumbled, whatever. Some other shit. Had, they always ran yeah, into something. Right. And they'd be such a good coach until the playoffs, and the playoffs just shut it down. Or something. Never understood that. It's weird. 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 Anyway, um, honorable mention. So, underdog. So, any underdog story. Yeah, any, anything like that. And I am going to respond to yours with, Rooney, you're an asshole. Uh, you're welcome. You started talking about Wimbledon, bro. That was my honorable oh, mention. Oh, sorry. So, it would be in an individual sport. It would be the tennis. The tennis. And preferably Wimbledon. Second would be U.S. Open. I mean, preferably the Grand. Like, if you went one all four in a year, that would be like, holy shit. But Wimbledon would just be, you're playing on grass. Yeah, I love that. You're playing in front of the queen. Like, it's it's just weird. It's just different. So different. It's it's the two weeks during Fourth of July, mm-hmm. right? So, like, they don't recognize, it's obviously, tradition. they don't recognize Fourth of July. Yeah. But for an American to win that would, been, yeah. would be freaking awesome. So, I think that would be my honorable mention on that. I dig it. Push the button. I was just looking. So, do you, are we good with honorables? Do you have another like any uh, other? How many? How many choices do you have? I was. I we don't. I just have one. I'm done. Okay. I'm just going to use one now because we okay. made ours. Honorable my other mentions. honorable mentions are 
obviously I grew up in LA, so I would have to pick the Dodgers for a team sport as well as I mean growing up and and it was tradition every single year and I love their I just I still do it to this day. You know, 40 whatever years later, New Year's Day, every year I get up and I watch the Rose Parade and I watch the Rose Bowl. And now the Rose Bowl is different because it's not always the Pac-10 and the Big 10. It's you know, Texas played in it and you know, and and when they still had the tradition, it fucked the '94 Penn State Nittily Lions. Nittily Lions, uh, yeah. But I, <coughs> Excuse but I me. So, and then this year there may not be a game. There may not be fans. Well, the but, Big Ten's not even playing. Right. The Pac-12, so, but there, there's a rumor that they might play like catch up. They might oh, that's, play, play each, each other, other and, and then, then play a Rose Bowl. Right. Regardless, there's going to be no fans. So I, I don't want. That's just dumb. So yeah, it kind of ruins the fan experience. Exactly. So the fact that the, the Rose Bowl is like sacred ground for me because growing up every New Year's Day, like one year I got to go to the Rose Parade and then the day after the Rose, like January 2nd, we would go, we got to go and go see the floats inside the big hangar. So the day after you, you know, I'm six and your eyes are all big and you're watching the Rose Parade and you got to see the dragon that was moving and breathing fire and crap. And then the next day you got to go see the float. And day, it was right there in front. It was of you, right like there. A, you could touch it. You touch could touch the, the flowers, yeah. or you could touch the cucumber. That it was the eye or the coffee, because it had to be. And it's like ninety percent roses, all, right? No, the the rose parade. For those that don't know, every every January first in Pasadena, California, they have marching bands and um, horses, and all the floats have to be covered in organic materials. So any kind of flower or bean or limes or orange peels or anything that's organic has to cover all of the float. That's the rule of the quote unquote Rose parade. So it started a hundred. And they do a lot of roses because yes, it's, the it's rose called parade. Rose, yeah. like the so whole, tons of different colored roses, it. but it's been going on for 105 years. I yeah, think it's crazy. so it's tradition for me to watch the Rose parade at like nine o'clock new year's morning and then watch the Rose bowl with my dad or cousins or whoever. So to see you USC win the Rose bowl, that's the greatest thing. Yeah. You know, and I, you know, they haven't won in X number of years, and that's fine. But that that's that's the best thing. I've got a sour spot, and I've got a sore spot for the Rose Bowl because of the Penn Stupid. State thing. Well, it was a Kerry Collins year. They won undefeated, and they just joined the Big Ten. They just joined the Big Ten. So there's Big Ten plus one. The first year, yeah, of it, they went undefeated, and the fucking president of the Rose Bowl wouldn't let them get out of playing the Rose Bowl. So they had to play the 20th ranked Oregon fucks of Oregon. <laughs> the Oregon fucks. That's right. You heard me right. The uh, Oregon fucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 20th ranked. And Tommy Frazier got to play the number five Miami Hurricanes. Tommy Frazier with Nebraska. Nebraska. And it should have been Nebraska Penn State for the championship. And it was a 1 2. And Penn State was actually ranked one all the way until they played like Illinois or something. And the reason what happened was it was late, like, it was a later game or something. They were blowing them out, and then the Paterno put all like third string guys in, and they closed the gap of the game and didn't oh. look like a blow. Remember back in the day, yeah, you won it was all nothing. It was all blah yeah. blah blah, and it ended up being like tw- you know twenty seven seventeen or some weird just where they 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 were like twenty you know they were crushing them or whatever. Yeah, they didn't need to put all their players in whatever, and they flip flopped, and then it, Nebraska became one, Penn State two. And then they get to the Rose Bowl. Rose Bowl wouldn't let them out of that contract because they just joined the Big Ten, and it was always Big Ten, Pac Ten champs. Yeah. And if they hadn't, they could have. They could have said they had, you know, national uh, championship. National championship. Like yeah. Big Ten could have had another national. Championship. And then they embarrassed Oregon. Yeah, they did. Of course. Or they were so unengaged. I think it was like 2010. It was like they didn't even care. Like at that point, they weren't playing for anything. Yeah. But that was. Terry Collins, uh, Curtis Enos, like, it was the t- the team, like the the one the of the team, one of the teams. So anyway, but I love the story, the nostalgia about like the float thing. Yeah, because awesome. like we have a thing called the Mummer's Day, a New Year's, and people are like, "What the fuck's a mummer? What's and, a mummer?" Yeah, they play fucking banjos and wear big fucking headdresses, and they get allegedly get blowjobs all up and down in bars. Shut- so everyone wants to be mummers. No joke, bro. Up. No joke. Look it up. Mummers. Mummers Parade. I know a couple of people who were like either the ones handing out candy or doing the thing, like not, you know, part of the troop. They have troops or groups of people. 
And when they got off to the bar, everyone was getting drunk on the way and getting serviced. Wow. Full service. I never saw that at the Rose They're Parade. Mummer Hummers, my friend. Mummer Hummers. Wow. There are some dedicated women in Philadelphia over there. They really <laughs> like them hot dogs. Wow. They really like them cheesesteaks when they come out there, when they squirt out that mayonnaise over there. Okay. I don't know, bro. I'm yeah. Just Let's end that. Yeah, that's over. But no, Mummer's Day. And that's like, I've, I don't, I can't say fond memories because Mummers scare me, but I have memories for sure. I like that yours are fond. Me too. <laughs> All right. So, uh, honorable mention was, what would, so Rose Bowl, anything like winning That's the it. Rose Bowl or the Dodgers? Both honorable mentions. So USC national championship? It, winning the national championship at the Rose Bowl. At the Rose Bowl. That'd be cool. As with USC? Yeah. Okay. So it have to be the team too, right? I would think like you wouldn't want to be with like Kentucky State. No, right. of course not. I, who's Kentucky State? The Cougars. I don't know. Wow. Um, because of because of my disdain for Mr. Sandusky, I can't say I want to be part of that with the, with the Nittany Lions. But man, I grew up watching them, and they were they were such a big like they were so. It was called the Penn State tackle linebacker. You like yeah, of course. You, you like you you went you 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 shot at the thighs like above the knee like right to the leg yeah like, that's how you tackle that's somebody. how you tackle it was a call it was literally called the Penn State tackle I don't know why it was like a local thing it was called that or linebacker you all that a lot of nostalgia yeah of course I would love to do that but just with all the other stuff that happened it, it's I don't know if it's right now and I don't know if enough time has passed or ever would pass for me to be like that but I don't know that'd be cool yeah that'd be a cool one for sure um another honorable mention. I have to say, it would be the coolest thing to be like the curling champion somewhere. Totally. Canada? Gold medal in curling. Yes. You, you want to sweep or throw the rock? The gold medal Jamaican curling team. Hell yes. Fuck them bobsledders. Yeah, man. Do you want to do the sweeping or the throw the rock? I would be the worst rock thrower, but I love doing, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Head. I want to be that guy. Pants now. He pants no. <laughs> I hope that was enough away from the microphone. <laughs> I might have to cut that. <laughs> oh my god! So maybe, oh, maybe shit. I'd let someone else curl, but I'd yell the sweep thing. But actually, I'm the one throwing the weight. I actually know the fucking terms. That is so sad. The I weight thought it's is called the, the rock. It is the rock, but the weight is the amount that I, the amount of oh. force that I put on it. They call it the weight. Can so I? So I know how much weight I'm putting on it. Dude, anyway, sorry. Yeah. That. So I have a problem. I, I'm a chronic napper. I, I I love to nap. Right. Okay. And I I nap during baseball games. That's I, what it's designed for. I, it's baseballs for two things: napping and watching paint dry. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I nap during golf, but the best nap I ever had, ever, ever, in all my napping life, was during curling. Olympic curling or like yes, qualifying? Yes, Olympic curling. And I don't know, I don't. it wasn't like the gold medal match, but I was like, hey, they're throwing a rock and <laughs> <laughs> I woke hey, look, up, I shuffled. swear to God, dude, it, I slept for four hours on the couch. Looks like shuffleboard on. And what are you doing with those broom? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I woke up. They were still curling. I can't, I can't, I can't make that up. How many years later? I can't, Wait, it was 2022. It was, it was like the four year later was Olympic. It 2016. I don't know. Oh my God. That's so it was in the last, <laughs> it was in the last four years, but I, I assume they broke away to other coverage. And then I just came back to the, the curling just happened to be on when I woke up. I was so refreshed. Maybe it was like eight teams later, but they all look the same. Are you sure it wasn't the I, same I, two teams? I don't. It, it could have been a replay, dude. I don't know. Okay. But when I went to you sleep. You have to be very careful about that. When I went to sleep, when I got up, it was both curling. It's That's not a four-hour event. It's an eight. It's a fucking extravaganza of deliciousness. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> it's like, like, you don't get tired from it. I mean, the sweeper might get a little arm weary. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey! Is that? I don't. I don't know. I, is that? What, what would you want to be? Would like, you want to be the sweeper? I can't believe be the there's sweeper. like dogs in Salt Lake City that are not being woken up with you right now. Alexa, 
Play Knocked Conscious Podcast. Okay. What were you saying? I would like to give you my final answer now. Do we have any more honorable mentions? Well, curling was the one. Okay. It should have taken the show. We should have just ended on curling. Oh, but okay. we won't because we're going to end on two good ones. My final answer, Mr. Shine took, that was the Masters. Because, uh, Son of a bitch. He said the green jacket is the ultimate thing. And I, I, I agree with him, but the way... The, the, and the Masters was the first thing I thought of. Not because it's an individual championship, but because the being... Let's say you're tied or you're one stroke up on Sunday afternoon in Augusta, Georgia with all those beautiful flowers, with all the fairways lined with all those patrons, and you're on the 18th tee, 3, 4 o'clock Sunday afternoon, and you got to hit the fairway. Then you hit the fairway, you hit the green, you know you're going to win. And every you're walking up that fairway, and all those people, 20 rows deep, are cheering for you. And you know you're going to win. That that electricity in the air on that that late afternoon, the, the number of people that have walked up that fairway, Tigers won X number of times. Obviously, the go you know the Golden Bears won. Jack, Arnold Palmer, set what's that guy's name? Sir Nick Faldo, the a bunch of times. The there I see Phil Mickelson. Phil's won three times. So the number... No, but you did earlier, but that... Yeah, the number... Three. The, the, the number of ama- three, three times. Three times. The number of amazing golfers that have walked up that fairway on that Sunday afternoon and to follow in their footsteps in, in a historic fashion, that... Just to walk up that fairway and take your hat off and to tip your cap in recognition to all those people recognizing you, that's amazing. Yeah, the green jacket's awesome, but just that moment to be with your caddy and to walk up that fairway, that's the moment. That's the that's all worth it, just that moment. In reflection, would you see that in the moment? That would you be able to know it in the moment? Yes. You have to stop. That's my point. Yes. You have to wreck. Yes. I, yeah, absolutely. Because yes, that type A personality has got to sink that putt, right? Or whatever, right? Right. On the, well, I'm not I a know the guy a, I can ta- sink a putt. No, I'm saying I know the guy can tip his cap, but are how many of those golfers do you think were just went, took a breath and was like, this is the moment. Do you think they felt that? I think you would because you know how rare it is because well, you're not one. Right, but right, like, and you're not in it. You're not playing it, and I don't mean right, any no, disrespect. You're, you're, by that. you're right. You're, no, you're absolutely right. I'm saying it's kind of a relative thing, right? Like the reason it's special to us is because we'll never experience it. But it's so relatively mundane for them to walk up another green. Right, but it's it's, it's the green. It's the Masters. But right. let me to your point. Let me give you an example. Last year, uh, the British Open was played in Ireland, Northern Ireland, for the first time in many years. Tip at the top of the barn, and uh, totally lucky charms. So. Everybody expected Rory McIlroy to run away with it. Rory was horrible. He put, he put a ball out of bounds off the first tee. He got a quadruple bogey. Uh, it was horrible. Wow. And he was embarrassed. He didn't make the cut. But uh, the first day was bad. The second day, uh, the second round, he comes back and he does better. He missed the cut by one shot. So and, and, and he's walking up the 18th fairway on the second day, he, knowing he's going to miss the cut. The crowd is cheering for him. He takes his hat off. He kind of starts to get choked up. He knows he's going to miss the cut. He knows the British Open is not going to be in his country for many years. They don't know when the next time is going to be, right? What happens? Another Irishman comes out of nowhere and wins. Shane Lowry comes out of nowhere. Fucking awesome. And you could see when he's walking up 18 on Sunday in his home country, no one expects this guy to win. He's never won a major before. Never been close before. He's been in top 10. But you, nobody knows Shane Lowry unless you're a golf fan. I only know the salt. Yeah. Lowry's seasoning. Sea salt, of course. Yeah. It's delicious. Yeah, steaks, all that shit. Use vegetables, <laughs> you know, grill them, all that. But to see Man, that, to, I can still remember people. him. Wearing all black, walking up that 18th fairway with his big red beard, taking his hat off, 
And to see the look on his face <coughs> and all the crowd, they just, they just, they loved him and he loved them right back. And that, he took it in and you could see it. It was amazing. When you and I'm know- not an Irish person, obviously. Yeah, that, well, f- there's two great things. There's Rory could take it in because he knew he wasn't going to be there the next day. Correct. So it, it didn't matter even if he missed that putt or didn't. No, yeah, yeah. That he was, walk he was, was gone. Yeah. Oh, it was the walk anyway. He was right. already walking. He, yes, to the correct. In the other guy's case, he'd never been there. So, it, yeah, obviously you have to be overwhelmed. In his home country. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's the, the it's the, like, the grand poobah of fucking things. It's like right. in your home, yeah. like winning in your hometown. Yeah. And you now he's I mean? the championship yeah. golfer of the year. He's got the Claret Jug. That that can never be taken from him. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. It's so cool. Yeah. It's kind of funny because they talk about records like uh, sprinters, right? And all these records being broken time-wise or whatever. You're like, you can't take a medal away from anyone. Well. In, well, other I mean, other than for violating some something. Stupid right? rule. Lance right. Armstrong. Well, PD or whatever, right. But. Did they have gold? Did they? Have, I did have bicycling. Did he win a gold medal for bicycling? He could. Uh, I mean, I know they took yeah, away the a couple of Tour de France, uh, Tour de France, like all twenty-three of them. Sure. Um, but that said, um, what's interesting about that is you can't take away the gold medal of that year. Like I won that medal. It doesn't matter what my time was. It doesn't matter. I yeah. beat everyone else of that time of my era. I won. Yeah. Was that guy maybe ultimately better? Yeah. But I won the gold medal against Usain Bolt the first time he ran. Yeah. On that day, On I that was better. day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I beat the greatest fucking runner of all time. Yeah, he wasn't in his prime yet, but I still have that medal, and he has a silver. Like, that is, like, something you just cannot replace. Because time, times will get beat. Like, records will get broken. But gold, you know, the gold medal's fixed in the time era that it's in. So yeah. it's, like, it's like frozen. It's like a time capsule frozen in time. I like I love the way you depicted that. That's beautiful. I'm really upset that Georgia yeah. took Masters. Man, it's cool that he chose it as well, but unfortunate that he chose it as well. That's okay. All right. He beat me to the punch, and I respect that. May I share my final? You may. My finale. Please do. So, I bleed orange and black. That is, uh, I am from Philadelphia, and I was born in 1974. The Philadelphia Flyers Hockey Organization, that's how they see it out there. eh? Up there, maybe Tatiana and Canada eh, can talk a little more like this. eh? And they have hockey organizations. Yeah? Yeah. (laughs) I got nothing. So I was born in 74. Uh, The Philadelphia Flyers of Philadelphia... One in 73, 74, and 74, 75. Didn't you already say that? I think we said it off. We didn't say it on the air. We talked about it beforehand. Oh, okay. So that's why I was, I went through my head. Did You're I say regurgitating it, it? I'm regurgitating Regurgi-burger. it. Regurgitating burger. But the point, that was the whole point is I, that's like, that's got to be my team. They won the championships right when I was born, being from the town. And I loved, the, I loved hockey growing up. I was just like always, always my favorite. Really funny because I shoot left handed, but I golf right handed. So shooting left hand, my left hand's on the bottom. Yeah. But in golf, my right hand's on the bottom. It's exactly opposite. Most people don't do that. Most people golf the way they shoot. Right, of course. I think. Yeah. It's I'm the fucking weirdest dude. I kick I kick left footed, but I punt right footed. What is wrong with you? Yeah. Dude, you're I, dude, you're an ambi turner. I can I can switch hit. I'm a bi You're a bi- ambi turner switch hitter. Hashtag yes. microbes, bro. By oral or whatever, by nerdle, by nerdle. Yes, I think is what it was. Assigned at birth, dude. We need to have a two-hour conversation just about that thirty-second commercial. Know if I can do that. We can't. We'll we'll blow our brains out, bro. We can't do it. So, growing up in Philadelphia, hockey was huge for me. Uh, just loved it. Went to the games. I was at Bobby Clark's thousandth point, Mark Recchi's thousandth point, Ray Whitney's thousandth point. There've only been like 80 wow. guys who have had a thousand points. I've been to three of them. I almost was a J- Jeremy Roenick. They actually gave it to him, but he actually didn't. He just got off the ice. They just gave it to him because they wanted him to have a thousand points in Philly. But the Bobby Clark one was unbelievable. Just, and then the Stanley cup, but then that cup, I, there probably are just as many recognizable 
statues or figures or trophies. But to me, the Stanley Cup is the the trophy that when you look at it, you know, people bring replicas of them to the stands in the in like the playoffs to hold up. You don't see that and you don't see someone holding up an NBA championship in the stands. True. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, or, or a or world baseball. series or yeah. Like or, the world yeah. series thing or whatever. Lombardi trophy. But like everyone gets a fucking bowl that they put tinfoil on and every, you know what I'm saying? And they all have a fucking tinfoil Stanley cup in their hands. They have inflatable ones and everything. Like, I don't know why, but it's almost seen. It's almost the most recognizable trophy of all other trophies. Arguably, at least it's arguably one of, Cause I, I don't, I don't know what gold medal I guess would be. Yeah. But they're all different every year, every four years or whatever. They, they true. They're, I mean, they're unique in their own way, of course, but everyone knows what a gold medal on the ribbon is. Yeah. 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 So, but other than that, I mean, the Stanley cup is what, and that you only X amount of people have their names engraved on it. Right. And you are just, once you're on there, you're on there forever. It's just, it's such a beautiful cup and it's had such a weird history. So anyway, thank you. Thank you. I'll be here all week. Yay. Great answer, so we man. Got through, we got through some good stuff. That was fun. That was a great answer. Thank you. I really like yours because you painted such a beautiful picture of the nostalgia. The Rose Bowl specifically. I'm, I'm props, bro. Thanks. You want to come over on January 1st to watch the Rose Bowl? Rose Parade? Sure. I don't think there's going to be any people there though. That's the problem. The streets you and I will be there. The streets are lined with people. So I don't even know if they're going to have a parade if there's no people. Well, is there a virtual parade? Oh, I, I heard what they're doing for the Macy's Day today. Actually, What's that? That is weird because I, okay. Tell me. You want to talk about hashtag synchronicity, oh, boys Jesus. and girls. Well, no, I. Pound sign what? Pound sign synchronicity. Pound sign hashtag synchronicity? Number sign synchronicity. Um, no, on my way home on Sirius, they just said the Macy's Day Parade is not going to go the two and a half miles. It's just going to go the final square where the TVs are. No, no fans. No, nobody in the stands. They just announced it. So it'll probably be very similar to that. It'll probably be just in that staging judging area at the final, probably. And then they might do the thing after where you can visit. Maybe. <clears throat> I don't know, bro. You can't hear me shaking my head. I know. I hear, I hear it. You hear the rocks rattling around. Why do we even need these sound pads, bro? I you don't know. And I, you're pretty dope. You and I are fucking dope. Totes my goats. We're like awesome. Well, thank you for coming over on a Tuesday evening, sir. I you're know. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. We work nine to fives, bro. Whatever that We're time is. We work a lot. to five. We work. Yeah. And this is like a side thing that we'd love for it to become you know, the thing for us. All but, the things. Yeah, we're trying really hard and we're trying to make it work. So we'd love to hear what you think. Yeah, leave a comment. Team sport, individual sport. What would you love to be a champion? Soccer, of? golf. I honestly didn't think we'd get an hour out of this. Shuttlecocks. We talked about shuttlecock for about three hours and it's only a two hour podcast. <laughs> um, I honestly didn't know if we'd get an hour out of this, and we're at two tw- two hours twenty minutes. So it always to, happens. Welcome to another time warp. We that should be our fucking music intro music. Let's do the time warp again. Okay, it's kind of copyrighted though, so I, you could just sing. Maybe it. Maybe I could sing it shittily, and it won't be copyrighted enough. You're a good singer. No, I know, but if I do it shittily, it won't represent it. Okay, I think isn't that the likeness? Can't you get? I don't know, copyright dude. Infringed? You're the expert. Of what? Of the copyright infringement police. I, the shuttle copyright infringement? The shuttle cock police. <laughs> All right, ladies and germs. Well, we'd love to hear what you think. So please subscribe to rate us. Rate us. Rate us. Just give us. Download. However few or many. Count of many, like five of them. Stars. You'd All like. the stars. All of them. Please. Um, I'd like to say this, that we have like one podcast episode that has probably 300 Apple downloads and we have three rates out of it. So please, if, if you listen to any of this, we're, we're not begging, but we're kind of getting there. Mark is begging. I'm, I'm getting, I'm desperate. definitely not begging. I'm desperately seeking Susan. Who's who's it's a Madonna. Susan. I, I, 
I'm gonna fuck Megzi. <laughs> You fuck. You can fuck Susan. I don't even know who's. I don't even know a Susan. I don't know one either. I would just like hello, to say Twitter. That. Hello, Twitter world. Is there a Susan out there? If you know a Susan, we'd love to talk to her. Maybe we do a whole podcast about the Sus Canal. Ew, uh, that, sounded, that sounded wrong. What? I, I was trying to do Suez Canal. I oh. just fucked it up, bro. I fucked it up. <laughs> well, that was a good attempt. It's evening. We've been working all day. Can you? Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Um, so please. I didn't get my nap, dude. Log on. Well, you had it during the podcast. So where, <laughs> I every time I it. talk for four hours, like, what do you think the percentage is of uh, what of chatter? What are you thirteen percent? Oh, thirty-one. If that you think you're that high? Well, what you think you're thirty-one percent? You want to ask the question again, please? Maybe. I- how much percent of the total chatter is you, and how much percent is is my? Oh, is I me? miss. I thought you meant total chatter between the both of us. Oh no. Oh. Yeah, I'm like six percent. Yeah, I think I'm you're kidding. Like 10? No, ten. No, ten. I'm sixteen point six six. You know what? We've probably got a nerd out there that loves doing these kinds of like all. What's it? What are they called? Actuarism stuff. Actuarial. So please listen to every episode that we've done. Record the amount of time that Christopher and I have done it, uh, the total, and give us the percentages that he and I talk. I guarantee I'm in the ninety eight. Do you see what just happened? In the past one minute, what just happened? I took over. You chattered for 86%. That's like 40 seconds, bro. Yeah. But if you take two and a half hours and you multiply it, that's... Two and a half hours. (laughs) Ta-da. So you just answered your own question is what I'm trying to tell you. That's fucked up. You, what I sat would and it, listened to did, you respond uh, your question. Would it, would it, chip, what a great audience. What a great audience. Thanks so much for coming, guys. And now get the hell out of here. Thank you so much for listening. Have yeah. a great day. Thank you so much for listening. This has once again been uh, Beer Googles. Sports teams and Beer Googles. www.beergoogles.com. Double E. Double O. Double G. Double. Yes. All the doubles. All the doubles. Thank you Especially so much, guys. Double badmins. Bye. The badmintons. Yeah. Hey, Rick, Ricky Schroeder's thumb. Any Couples, final words? Badmintons. Yeah. Ricky? Nothing. Schroeder's thumb? No, Any? he's got nothing. He's got nothing. All right, no. guys. Bye. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.